welcome to Car Shield Field, where we have Germa Baseball Association action for you tonight. A big time matchup between the California Circus and the Maryland Magicians. Maryland comes in at 27 and 22. The Circus, 11 games over 500. I'm joined by former Phoenix Caveman great Gary Grunt. I am Storm Williamson. And Gary, we should have a big time, great matchup on the field tonight. Yeah, very good ball clubs uh, on the field here this evening, Storm. Uh, you throw out the record books when these two teams get together. Uh, they're just two vastly different ball clubs. They win different ways. Uh, the circus is more of a clown show. They kind of try to trick you into some uh, different pitches, whereas on the other side, the magicians, they win with their clever illusions. I'd like to see what uh, the big, tall right-hander has on the mound here tonight, what kind of uh, tricks they have up their sleeve. And, uh, of course, the power cards will play a big part of tonight's game. Get a look at Joy Handsome right now, the manager of the Maryland Magicians. He's guided his club to a five-game over 500 mark so far this year. And a coastal clash, these teams coming from across the country to meet tonight. There you get a look at Fred Big Top the leader of the California Circus. And don't let that face fool you. He has been plenty happy this year. We talked about that record of 30 and 19 for them on the year. And we go from big top to big boy on the mound. Big boy Buckle gets the call for the circus. He has been outstanding all year long to the tune of a nine and six record, 2.81 ERA. What are the magicians going to have to do to try to put a dent in what this man has done this year? Well, for the, the man on the mound here tonight, he's obviously a, a very uh, dominant right-hander. Uh, look for the off-speed pitches to be really key to his arsenal tonight. And on the other side for the magicians, they just need to make contact. There's a lot of movement uh, from, from uh, Big Boy and uh, we'll see what kind of contact they can make here tonight. So Donald Strange will come to the plate, the first batter for the Maryland Magicians, and the first pitch of our game, just a little bit high. And already, Chief Elbertson having a word with our pitcher. We've only gotten one pitch through the game. Yeah, he's going to have to uh, take care of that control problem. He needs to get that lower and over the plate, or else the Magicians players are going to be in for a long night dipping and diving and uh, trying to get out of the way of some of these pitches. Crew Chief Elbertson, you get a look at him right there. Chief of the one-man crew tonight, so doing a great job and maybe not so great of a job on that call. Yeah, uh, questionable call there, but Elbertson, he's the, the crew chief tonight, so uh, what he says go, what he says go, and uh, that ball was maybe a little inside the plate. 258 there. hitting Donald Strange, took a Big rip at that one, couldn't quite connect, and the count to one ball and two strikes now. A big cut there from Strange, playing for the Magicians. Third baseman tonight, playing the hot corner. Xavier McMagic awaits on deck. Here comes the next pitch from Big Boy. Big rock, a couple of them. Mm. Make it three, is the third a charm? A hot shot towards the hole at second base. What a play! And they rob him of a hit. Outstanding from Paul Laffington. No laughing matter on the middle infield. Absolutely no laughing matter. Got over to his left, got to the ball, and then great release from glove to arm to th make that throw first out of the inning. Great play to go into his left. And Donald Strange had smack. to be thinking, look, I've done my job. We've got a base hit to lead off this game. Uh-uh. The Circus, who had some trouble getting to this game tonight, having no trouble getting settled in. Yeah, they had a lot of trouble. Apparently, they put the wrong gas in the car. It was uh, uh, Someone had put petroleum gas in. They were looking for laughing gas. Hold on, hold on. Crew Chief Albertson is down. Oh, no. We've seen some issues with Albertson. And, and this is, you know, again, we, we need to mention here, a crew chief no, okay. of no one, okay. so right. he's saying he's all right, but but we'll have to see how he goes about this moving on. That could be a lingering injury. Yeah, Albertson, the only umpire here tonight, has to cover home plate, first base, second base, third base, the outfield as well. Chopper. Raffington charging in, and he bobbles, flips to the bag. Albertson calls him out. Great play again there from the second baseman for the circus. Seen some errant wands flying here and there, and Albertson yells safe into the dugout with the out signal, and now all of a sudden coming out of the dugout, Joy Handsome has got some words. 
Yeah, I might have to go into the magic spell book here to figure out how to break this defense and get past the uh, adversity that the umpire and crew chief has created here so far. Joy back to the bench, and now we get our first look at Zeke Flash. A couple of bounces in, and Albertson thinking about it, but he will rule it ball one. That's what happens here in the JBA. Sometimes a little cricket can bounce out. You just never know what's going to happen. I want to thank all of you for tuning in to the Germa Baseball Association ripping a hot shot just foul past the third base bag. Count to one and one now on Zeke Flash. The shortstop for the Maryland Magicians is hitting 246 on the year with a slugging percentage of 365. Yeah, Slash, or excuse me, Flash, very capable of putting the ball over the seats. We'll see what kind of pitch he gets here. It's an interesting one from Buckle and kicking his heel at it. Couldn't get a piece of it, trying to get aboard first base with the hit by pitch, but he can't come up with it. We don't, Count to two and one. Yeah, we don't expect runs to be at a premium, but if you can get on base any way you can, stick of a leg, foot, anything, wand, anything you can get a baseball on. And we get a pop fly into shallow right field, moving towards right center. The play is made by Lenny Munson. So one, two, three. Big boy buckle. Great work in the top half of the first. He gets them in order. The California Circus will come to the plate when we return. You're watching Germa Baseball Association. Welcome back to Car Shield Field. This is the Germa Baseball Association. Maryland Magicians in the California Circus through one half inning of play. A 1-2-3 top half of the first for big boy Buckle on the mound. And now he gives way to Doug Dove, the right-handed pitcher for the Maryland Magicians. Stands at 5 foot 9, 160 pounds. We talked about that great record for big boy. How about an 8-3 and three record? For Doug Dove. Yeah, Doug Dove, uh, known for pulling it out, the Dove out of the hat, uh, can really fire it in there with a the fastball, has a good changeup, uh, mixes in his pitches very nicely, uh, can also throw a four seam sinker that sinks away from uh, left handed hitters and, as well as cut into righties. So uh, we'll see uh, how Mr. Dove handles uh, his top half of the inning. We saw a relatively easy inning for Big Boy in the first, in the top half of the first inning here. We'll see how Doug Dove does here. As you see his stats on the board, 18 games pitched, 8-3 record. Look at that strikeout to walk ratio. As we mentioned, the stuff and the kind of creativity he has on the mound. He can really smoke it by the batter. And so now Hunter Sweets, the leadoff man for the California Circus. He'll be followed by Percy Polkadot and then David Honk batting in the three spot for the California Circus. And Hunter Sweet has brought quite a bit of power to the table on the season while only hitting 216, a 341 slug due to five home runs. And you saw crew chief Elbertson taking a good look at that bat prior, maybe just to make sure, hey, is this thing corked? What's going on here? Yeah, can't have any illegal play here. Can't have a, a, a cork bat. That wouldn't be good. It would, wouldn't level the playing field here tonight as Doug fires it in there. As Doug has really been uh, one of the top magicians in the JBA in terms of pitching. He really focuses on his craft. The Hocus Pocus on point, two and one with that swing and a miss. Let's get a look there at Crew Chief Elbertson as Dove peers in for the next. I'll change the windup here. 
Trying to keep the hitter off balance and does. Oh my goodness, you talked about that heat. Hello. You can see the two different styles of the pitchers. We saw Big Boy, a little bit more crafty. Dove here in the bottom half of the first, just throwing gas. The Cape Crusader hits him with the breaking ball and Sweets is down. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. he's uh -oh. thinking about it. There goes the bat. Dove kicks it right back towards him hey, hey, and getting in between them. Roy Flushman says, hey, fellas, let's Good. simmer it down. We're only in the first. Yeah, don't let anything, uh, don't let cooler heads prevail here as Albertson gives him the bases. We'll get a replay on this. You can see the curveball just got away from him. Hits him. It's the batter in the left shoulder, goes down. Number 34. Well, a great time to, to point out that safety and security, really important aspects in every part of your life. We have to deal with them on a daily basis, and it can be hard to find the right solutions. Wouldn't it be great if there was one solution that gets rid of those problems? Most internet users aren't sure of the amount of surveillance, limitation, and data mining done with their personal information, but Surfshark can solve all of those problems for you. That's Surfshark. Go ahead and check them out and make sure that your data is safe. Polkadot taking a strike to begin this at bat. Runner over at first base is Hunter Sweets after being hit by the pitch. They check on him, yeah. and he slides back in safe. Uh, a great curveball thrown by a dove there. Just went 12 to 6. No chance for the hitter. So we saw the Magicians go down in order. First base runner of this game, Sweets over at first base. A bit outside, but did appear that... Crew Chief Elbertson called that a strike. It's to 0-2, and, and Polka Dot wants to have an extra look back at Elbertson as he yells towards the dugout of the Magicians. You gotta keep the runner on as well, so a lot dealing, uh, dealing with a lot here. This one's hit high and deep left side, but that'll get foul. That ball cut was there. blasted. Dot, yes. Percy not playing. Get a look at that big red nose of his and he was going to really really be happy if he could send that one over the fence a good start here though for the california circus dub turns and throws to first base sweets back in time again really keeping tabs on him over yeah there. absolutely don't want uh, to give up a stolen base here still early on in the game so runs at a premium and can't uh, give them can't give him away here dub's pitch a breaking ball that is fouled away to the right side. That'll reach the seats. That was that. Notice the uh, an equipment change from the clowns. I'm used to seeing them in, in games past where they've got you know bigger shoes on, comically large shoes. They've got normal shoes on here tonight, so it could be another tactic implemented by the managing staff to get some more wins for this California circus. And what a job out of the circus dugout there. You see great job running out those balls to crew chief Elbertson. Doing a great job himself behind home plate, despite a couple of controversial calls, and that might be another one called out on strikes. Polka dot the first out of the bottom of the first inning. Well, Albertson's been consistent with the zone so far. He's calling him high, he's calling him low, calling him outside and inside. So consistency is the name of the game when you're the umpire. And look at this one, catches the outside corner. Great, and great frame job get, by the catcher. It, that's a great point that you make there. I want to go back to that, though. Gary, a former great in this game, how much does that consistency from the umpire matter? You know you know that any given pitch is going to be a strike, whether it is or not, and that, that helps you out a lot as a batter. Yeah, yeah, it keeps you on your toes. It really focuses you in on the the spin rate of the ball, and you won't really want to try and make contact as we have a stolen base attempt here. Hunter Sweets is out! Elbertson, he took some time with it. I thought he might pull out the safe call. But he does rule him out. A stolen base, caught stealing, I should say, on the steal attempt from Hunter Sweets. Yeah, not a great jump and a, a fantastic throw down right into the glove of the second baseman there. And the tag is applied. And the second out of the bottom of the half of the first inning here. Great throw. Just like that, two down. Elbertson having to keep both of these dugouts in check early on. A lot of jawing going on from both sides. Well, the stakes are high here, Storm. These teams need a victory. They need a victory, and, you know, we're talking about two of the best teams in this league as well. We're getting closer to postseason play, and you want to be in the correct form when you go into postseason play, and we'll see if these teams can get back to the style of baseball that we're used to seeing. 
Yep, jockeying for playoff positioning as this one's in there for, they call that a strike? In motion, but three and one is the count. Yeah, games playing elsewhere. The Drunkards are playing the Mimes this evening as well as the K-Man, my former squad, and the old ladies match it up. We'll have uh, crunch time after this to give us the full breakdown on all the highlights of the JBA games that are happening this huh. afternoon. And it goes into foul territory. One two. Should mention here, you know, we've got our standard defensive alignment for the most part, and a man on stilts out in left center for the Magicians, you know, that is Secret weapon. one of those yep. tricks that you can pull out when Absolutely. you need it time and time again. And against these right-handed batters, power hitters trying to put a gapper out there and score a run, not today. Yeah, it, it's the JBA's version of a, almost of a defensive shift where they hit the man and still out in left field. And, uh, again, he can get those wall scrapers. Anything going over that wall on that left side, he can get to and track down. And what is this? They called it a strike in... David Hong. Oh, he got the he got the umpire got the count wrong. And you know that's one of those things. Hey! Oh, oh wait. strike call. And that will set down David Honk and do it for this first inning. So we did get our first base runner of the game, but a pair of strikeouts and the caught stealing. They go in order once again to the California circus. Back with more JBA action after this. We are back at Car Shield Field. This is the Germa Baseball Association. I am Storm Williamson, joined by former caveman great Gary Grunt, soon to be Hall of Famer. Next year, they're going to have that induction for you. And we got some noise coming from the circus dugout. Elbertson trying to check this bat right now from Roy Flushman. We saw Flushman get in between what could have been an altercation in that first inning. Yeah, there's Look the defensive, defensive lineup, lineup for the circus buckle. Towing the rubber, helium on first, Lafayette on second. First oh, and the swinging. circus with some noise from the dugout, but it's booted at short. Unable to make the play, Polka Dot. Polka Dot very upset with the shortstop, unable to make that play. Just a slow roller to that left side. You could argue the play should have been made as look right toward the shortstop for the circus. And you know we have we have security just beyond the first base bag. He was. Patting down Roy Flushman right there just to make hey. sure that nothing nefarious was going on. Don't have anything illegal on the field. There's no chewing gum, no, no, no sunflower seeds. they got to make sure we keep this field clean. You never know where these magicians are going to hide something that might give them the advantage. Look at him drop the bunt, pull it back, and put it into left field. That is a beautiful piece of hitting by Craig Mystery, keeping it a mystery what he's going to do with the plate. Yeah, Craig doing a very good job. Showed bunt, pulled it back, and roped a single. Now Albertson looking at him. Now he's coming over to talk to him. As 
Is Albertson saying something oh, illegal? Not on the field. Not on the field. Dug out. Dug out. Dug out. Let's see here. Dug out. <laughs> you can't. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. You get smoke. Oh, no smoking on the field. Oh. I guess uh, you put that he was trying to dugout. have a smoke and a pancake, which that's not allowed here. So great Coach. job by Albertson Coach. to keep it clean here. Yeah, now he wants to, to have a talk the, with the manager for the magicians. Yeah, uh -uh. he, he is uh -uh. not, not going to have not this. Not out there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not that's out there. That's a warning. Joy yeah. Handsome, you no know. No tobacco he, products allowed on the field in this game. He's saying, look, just a little bit. Can't, can't we just have a, just a couple of puffs when we get to first base? You know, just a little, like a first base break. I mean, look at this. we got some pipe action going on in the other dugout. What's the big deal? There's no puffing the Magic Dragon or any dragon here in, in the car shard field, car shield field. So uh, there'll be no puffing. Oh! Slow one comes in. It's fouled back off the bat of Ronnie Smith. As now we're gonna have a looks like we have a mascot battle being behind home plate between the clowns, excuse me, for the circus and the magicians. As you can see, the it's like Dumbledore, and and Dumbledore has stolen a fan sign and used it as a weapon here. That is a lot of action on the field and in the stands here. Security has to come over and maybe separate the uh, two mascots behind home plate so the pitcher doesn't get distracted. And you see, big boy going with that split grip to start. How hard is it for a guy like him to, to keep things under control when there's so much going on yeah, with the call strike? A lot of distractions, but we see it all the time in the JBA, so uh, these guys are used to it. They can stay locked in, stay laser focused on the task at hand, and uh, Big Boy's got a chance to, for a double play here. Uh, Albertson is rightfully calling out, look, we have a team called the Circus, yet it's the Magicians that have been the Circus in the dugout this Yeah, far. absolutely. A clown show right now for the Magicians creating a lot of havoc, talking a lot of smack, uh, and directing a lot of their hostilities towards Albertson. You know, th they are the Circus, but this is a team that's won 30 games this year, and you think about a, a circus maybe being disorganized. This might be one of the more organized circuses you'll find out there. Is Big Boy a little off balance as he comes home with it, and that goes all the way to the backstop. So runners advance to second and third base, and our count goes to two and two. So that was a call strike. So big chance for the magicians now to get on the board. Two runners in scoring position. Let's see if they can get this ball in play. No out still here in the top of the second. You know, one-man crew, the, the just how clean this home plate is for a one-man crew, truly incredible. Big Boy Buckle still waiting for this plate to get wiped off. And, you know, we talked about some of the distractions. Now the stoppage in play. He looks like he's in rhythm out there. And he's starting to find his tempo, find that rhythm. You see, he floats one across the plate. Again, the two different styles of pitchers is on display here tonight as, you know, uh, Big Boy just kind of lofts it over the plate, relies on his... Uh, on his off-speed stuff, doesn't throw anything overpowering, has to hit his spots, and he walks the batter here. Yeah, Big Boy's not happy with that. He thought that one bounced up into the zone, and Albertson is trying to show him that. Big Boy's still not buying it. And now our Aces security are man over there at first base oh. trying to make sure that the magicians have everything together. Uh-oh. We have a power card. We power do card have being a played. power card being played. So Albertson. There it is. What, what card is being played here? Let's see. It's the, it's poof the poof. common card. All opposing outfielders are removed for the next at bat. What a card to play. That is the kind of managing we love to see here in the JBA. And, you know, this is just a veteran move by Joy Handsome. You see why this team has been so successful all year long. Bases loaded jam. Nobody out. How are, how are we going to do this? Poof. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to put that poof card out there and see if they can't even capitalize even more here for the Magicians. Yeah, smart time to play this card. Poof, the outfielders are gone, and a big chance for the Magicians to get some runs on the board. And interesting that Fred Big Top was, you know, coming out as if to show that he was not happy with that call. That is well within league rules. What yeah, we power, just saw yeah. there. Uh, they're supposed to be, yeah, the power cord has to be played before the uh, batter steps into the batter's box. Look at this, first pitch swinging. There's nobody out there all the way to the surf shark sign, and they are not going to be able to do anything about it. Look at the big man chug. Here goes Donovan Slate. 
into third base with the triple. Oh, look bases at this. Bases are still loaded. And the bases are still loaded. Three runs come around to score and two more runners out on the paths. They just kept going around. The clowns are trying to settle the show right now and claim that these, oh, now we got a. Look out, run down. Uh, run down here in the infield. It's a mystery as to what's going on. Craig Mystery being chased. He singled to get aboard. He later came around to score. Albertson trying to gain control of this mess right now and he gets those players off the field. So. What a triple there from the Magicians. Here's another look at it, lined into left field. Smoked, nobody out there. Again, the poof card was played. No outfielders for that. Bat, the Magicians capitalized. So just like that, our first runs of the ball game, they belong to the Maryland Magicians. It's a three nothing score in the top of the second inning. Still nobody out here for the Magicians and the Circus now have their outfielders back. See how big boy Buckle responds here, trying to put a little mustard on the ball. Like that little slat swag with that last delivery. Excuse me, as we get a fly ball into right. It's caught, tagging and holding at third base. That gun of an arm from Lenny Munson keeps him put. Yeah, Munson doesn't mess around. Has a great right arm. Can really flight that ball into home plate. So uh, good job to keep the runner at third base. And we still stay at three nothing with one out here at the top of the second inning. Well, I don't know about you, Gary, but I do not test people named Lenny. Munson is one of those. Don't test him and don't trust him. That one comes in just a touch low from Big Boy Buckle. He's been varying his, not only his delivery, but the speed yeah. of his pitches as well. Yeah, has featured a couple of different windups here. This one smoked back up the middle. That'll score another run for the Magicians. Look at that. Off the bat of Barry Bedazzle. He's got the Magicians up 4-0. Gotta wonder if the circus is thinking about getting someone warmed up at the bullpen now as Buckle has struggled here in the first inning and two thirds. Wow, what a promising start for big boy Buckle. And as the nine hitter, Mike Salmon comes to the plate, he is motioning for his outfielders, hey, come in, this guy can't hit the ball anywhere. Yep, they're staying out there. Salmon likes to hit the ball upriver. You know, I, I would think that a downstream approach might be the path of least resistance, but this is a guy that has seeked out adversity his entire career. Yeah, really puts a lot of power behind the ball, can really whip that bat through the strike zone and plant the baseball wherever he wants. Puts it on the ground to the right side. Laffington to the bag at second. A perfect one-hop throw. Gets the lead runner. Turn to first base. Not in time. Two down now. So fielder's choice there. Couldn't get the double play for the California Circus. Another replay here is just getting over the top of that. And again, crew chief Elbertson having to take charge and really make sure that these teams understand who's in charge out here. Yeah, wants to keep both managers in check as having another conversation with the circus right now. That facial expression for Fred Big Top a little bit more fitting now that we moved into the second inning, down 4-0. We'll take the slow walk back yep. to the top of the dugout. And what's Albert, this? What's Albertson's. this? Elbertson is stopping play. There's a drone on the field. Oh, no. Elbertson you can, you're not doesn't that, like, right? likes to keep it, again, within the rules of play. And right now we just have a drone hovering here. over the field. And Albertson is, I think he's afraid that this could affect you, play. Maybe the ball that? could potentially hit the the drone and affect where it lands and as they're trying to get this drone out of here. These are some of the All things right, that you have to appreciate about an Elbertson called game. There is some chaos in this league from time to time. Elbertson keeps things under wraps and now we get Big Top with a happy Gilmore style. Oh, Ichiro's it off the belt and it's caught then dropped in right. What's the call? What is Albertson saying? There's some confusion on the base pass. That's They're ruling him out. Three outs. That's three outs. He called him out. So, wow, the, the cricket style delivery from Buckle gets the out, and the inning is over. Unbelievable the damage has been done. stuff. This is why you tune in to the Germa Baseball Association. Don't go anywhere. We've got more next.
The Magicians have jumped out to a 4-0 lead as we are through one and a half innings of baseball out here at Car Shield Field in the Germa Baseball Association. Fans, we want to remind you about our favorite adult-friendly platform, Fansly. Expand your social network, gain followers, and earn additional income by connecting one-on-one -on -one with your subscribers in unique and intimate ways. Post safe for work picks by day and spice it up by night or both with tons of optimal features like sub-tiers, paid messaging, and more. Plus, sign up now for Twitch or Twitter, and Fansly will automatically recommend creators you already follow on other platforms. So what are you waiting for? Join Fansly today. First pitch fouled off by Sean Giggles. So he's down 0-1. Giggles takes a ball. So Doug Dove... Back to work for the Magicians and what looked like, you know, that leadoff base runner for California in the bottom of the first inning that they might be the first to crack the scoreboard. Wouldn't really expect this 4-0 score as Albertson might get done with this call sometime tonight. Yeah, it was a big time strike, so he had to, he had to emphasize the call. I Man, it was a great pitch on the outside corner. Another one of the reasons why you tune into Albertson games maybe just a little bit more than others throughout this league. On the ground, back up the middle. Giggles gets it past the glove of the diving shortstop into center field, a leadoff base hit. Oh, nice job by Giggles to get, take what the pitcher gave him, just drove it right back up the middle. You can see great swing here. He got enough power behind that pass, the diving shortstop and into center field. No wand is going to get that ball. Zeke Flash gave it a look, but even he not fast enough. Now Manny Upchuck, and he's getting the crowd pumped. They love it. Upchuck trying to create an uppercut type swing here. They, the circus needs to get back into this game. Uppercut strike call from Elbertson 0-1. 10 bombs on the year for Upchuck. He looks for another. Runner on first base is Sean Giggles, and he puts a charge into this one. Into deep center field, turned around on it, but the play made out there. Good job by Xavier McMagic. Yeah, great footwork out there by McMagic. Showing why he's a center fielder. Great form. Was turned around a little bit, but that ball was driven into that deep left center. And Giggles will remain at first base. So still one runner on as a good... Catch there from McMagic, the center fielder for the Magicians. And I'm not sure if they're dealing with an injury for Doug Dove right now, but he's been shoving. Now they're all at the mound for a meeting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Something has come out here. This is a little magic potion, maybe? Oh, a little elixir. Oh. For the team. The feel-good juice. As if Doug Dove wasn't in enough of a groove already. And now look at this, the circus get getting involved here, here get on the mound. Here. Yeah, the jesters want, want to get in on that magic elixir. See a pie out there as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Albertson right trying to get the pie Jefferson off the field. Everybody comes out, by the way. I've got a feeling somebody is going to get served, not with a paper, but a pie, sooner than later here, sir. As long as it's got a little whipped cream on there, maybe it's a banana split pie, banana cream pie, key lime pie, either way. We'll serve it up slices here tonight zero, zero. at Car Shield Stadium. So Upchuck retired for the first out of the inning, and here comes Harry Helium. Helium. Having some words with Albertson wants to make sure the zone's right. Dove, after the magic elixir, drops in a strike over the inside corner. And the clown mascot really trying to encourage the circus to get some runs, get some hits, and get back in this game, trailing 4 nothing. Bottom of the second. Dove looking energized. His pitch just a touch tall. He went with the heater that time. The next to Harry, off the end of his bat, he'll poke it foul up the right side. Harry Helium hitting 254 on the season. That on-base percentage all the way up at 355, though. Yeah, gets plenty of air 
Underneath his batted balls, has a high pitch voice as well as he tries to combine all that in to a nice power stroke. There's nothing like the hairy helium high when he sends one long. We'll see if he can put a charge into one here with his next one two count. And now all of a sudden some consternation behind home plate. I believe Hunter Sweets is. What are they? I think he just wanted to know what the count was, make sure he had it right. Okay, so Harry Healy. Trying to decide what pitch he wanted to put down for Dub to throw. And now the pitch. Popped up, back behind home plate, out of play off the bat of Helium. One and two still. Still one ball, two strikes to Helium. Going with the interesting makeup. Can't really get some makeup around that beard, so going with the, the quarter face makeup, the dark eyes. It's a beard that would make a former caveman proud. You know what? I was born, but was born. Came out of the mama's womb with a, with a, with a beard, and now that's most cavemen do. And, and you were telling me before the game, little known fact about Phoenix cavemen players, there is a minimum back hair requirement in yes. order to even even get a call to the tryouts. Yes, uh, you have to have at least a good three inch thick fur on the back, especially across the shoulder blades uh, from left to right. Uh, that will really get you into the league of cavemen, but if you got those patches down on the left right near the back side of the ribs too, we'll take you as well. Not too picky. And Helium takes it outside, so two and two the count now to Harry Helium. And right now, Doug Dove just having his way with this circus lineup, something we're not used to seeing from California. No, not at all. Looking for uh, laughing gas. This ball is drilled into center field, but should be easy work for the magicians. Nick Magic, the hat off and everything, a little flare without number two. Yeah, got good wood to it, unfortunately just got a little too underneath that ball. And a great play by McMagic to get to that one and to stay scoreless here is the circus in danger of leaving a runner on base here. They need runs. There is no doubt this Maryland team knows how to put on a show as it brings in Larry Munson. Munson sends a third fly ball into center field. Hat off again. Mick Magic has been, done it. He's been Mick busy. Three of the outs in this inning. Awfully impressive. We'll head to break. When we come back, we'll have the third inning from Car Shield Field.
Welcome back to Car Shield Field. This is the Germa Baseball Association. I am Storm Williamson, joined by Gary Grunt. A 4 mm -hmm. lead for the Magicians, and it's been some good baseball this far. Very good baseball, and I uh, was uh, able to get down into the locker room. I asked if I could interview some of the players, and they said, be with you in a minute. So, yeah, Richard Looney out there, unicycling in center field. Actually, we've got... Three outfielders unicycling currently. First ball hit hard on the ground by McMagic, who recorded all three outs in the last half inning. He's retired by a strong throw from Polka Dot to open up the third. Yeah, you can see what he was trying to do there, trying to get it to the outfield where the outfielders are in on unicycles. So you can see it was a high chopping swing, just got over that ball and hit it to the shortstop. Great play. And that first out. Worth noting that our only runs of, or our first runs of this game, I should say, came from a poof card, and now we've got our second card of the game being played, yep. this time by the Circus. Oh, the understudy card looks to be being played here from the Circus we're gonna need side. The mascot. We're going to need the We're going to need the Magician's mascot. You're so on the mound. So this one is opposing team's mascot. You Much must pitch for this half inning. This is a rare card, and the California Circus was able to pull this power card in pregame, and now we'll see Dumbledore. Look at this guy. He'll pitch for at least this batter is it the entire inning. Look out. Knuckleball pitcher heading to the mound. You're, you have to be Dumbledore to can unspin it with the best of them. Wonderful bring his wand out or he'll just use his hand. Some interesting moves there as he's going to have to give way to Big Boy Buckle, and you know, before that poof car, Big Boy Buckle has really done everything in his power to keep his California Circus in this game. Yeah, he's changed up his delivery style. He, he's gone quicker, he's gone faster. He tried a cricket style delivery. He's tried dealing it from the left side of the mound, right side of the mound. He's really been trying to switch it up and keep these magician batters from getting comfortable inside that box. And is he calling a shot? Was that a call, shot call there from number 31? I think so, and he's going to lay down the bunt. Look at this, Zeke Flash. Hot dog. Beating it out. The fake call your shot. He went Babe Ruth with it, and he pulls down the bunt single. What a play. The clowns were definitely caught off guard there. Magicians at it again. Take a look on the Fansley instant replay. That's as good as it gets from the Flash. Man, what a what a trick pulled out of the hat there from the Magicians. Getting a runner on board, a chance to add to their lead. And as Dumbledore will face batter number two. Roy Flushman puts a bat on it. And off the unicycle, oh. it goes over the head. Artificial surface, it's bouncy out there. He ditched the unicycle as well, and the runners will hold up at third base. They do hold so flash we'll see if third. Albertson wants to go out and make sure uh, make sure that's not an automatic run or anything. As again, the right fielder was not on the unicycle. Dropped it right there. User error. Got over the head. Lost the wig. Boy, what a clown show. Oh, we got our first pie in the face. Oh. Albertson, pie in the face. Albertson. The circus wanted that play called dead because... Oh, and he is tossed. And he's gone. Albertson don't have any of that. Look at him. That's go Schmidt Papo. Papo with the pie to the face. And now he's gone. Now the magicians, and excuse me, now the mascots are chasing one another around the field. Chaos has broken out here as a pie in the face. Is, I think that's Albertson's 50th pie to the face this season. But he's no stranger to the pie in the face. He wears it well. Let's take another look at this pie in the face. See the argument happening, and boom, right there. Right in to the face. Is that shaving cream or whipped cream? He's not eating it, so I can only assume that it's shaving cream. You know, you would think a, a lot of umpires might be a little bit more upset. Oh, yeah, he, he just now tossed, he's tossed the, field. the turf. Now he's, just, now he's just upset. The turf monster got him, tripped him up a little bit, and he's tossing the rubber. He's tossing the turf out of this game as well. Give me a hand here, please. Unbelievable. And we'll see now, maybe this gets, maybe this gets Joy Handsome back in the good graces of Elbertson. 
course, Albertson, an ultimate professional. Doesn't want to wipe that off, just wants to keep play going. And our official score, if you're wondering, if you're scoring at home, E9 yes. on that play. E9 on that play if you're keeping track at home for this broadcast here tonight. Glad you're with us. Storm, it's always a pleasure to be alongside you. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. And this now is again, a, a real the, issue. The Ma mascots both mascots. Are, yeah. Now, we had one of these mascots called out for the card. I, there's a reason yeah. Yeah. for, for our Dumbledore mascot should be, be there. Dumbledore should be there, but the clown mascot needs to exit the field. He's holding up the pace of play here. And now Elbertson just just exasperated here. And now we got a new batter coming to the plate. This is Ronnie Smith. First right. into him, hit it on the ground sharply to short. Looking back, poke it out across the diamond. It's too tall, and it bounces into the stands. Boy, Ronnie with the least clever name on the Magicians, but that's a great baseball play there. Showing the aggressiveness. As Albertson now trying to explain what happens here. So they're going to give second base to Smith. And run another run scored, I do believe. So it should be 5 nothing. Run scores. Run scores. Albertson confirms. Right on top of it. Polka dot. Apologize for the language. Our effects mic sometimes picks up some of the, uh, the on-field uh, language, and we apologize to our younger viewers if anyone was offended by that from, from it, the umpire. He, heat of the battle, you know, there, there are a lot of things to learn out here, and as a ball player, learning to curse at the right time is a big part of the game. Yep, and that'll be out. Number two run will score, though, on Let's the score. chopper to the left side. What's the third baseman doing? I don't think Come he on. thought the hitter touched base and he's bringing it over to the first baseman. I guess he's not confident in the throw across the diamond. Didn't want another run advancing there as, again, the circus was just charged with another air on that overthrow in the first baseman. Yeah, we'll we keep saw. another runner at first now for the Magicians. Percy throwing it all over the yard, and now Donovan Slate comes to the plate. He had that big bases-clearing right, triple on, <laughs> back in the second inning. Still dealing with... Time up. With and that really is a, a lot of pie in the face there yeah. for out here. Crew Chief Elbertson. I need out here, please. Oh, Hold on a second. He, he's calling and time, and now he's headed out towards towards right field. I believe uh, I, he's asked for the grounds crew. Something wrong with the field right now, and he'll go out for some inspection. And as he's calling the umpire, <laughs> he's calling for the grounds crew. And of course, when you're involved with any baseball league. The grounds crew guy is, crew, the, is really that makes uh, really makes the game go. The way they keep up the field, and how they paint the lines, take care of the turf. So I'm not sure what Albertson out. sees out in the outfield here. But it looks like there's an errant sheet. There is. Here comes the groundskeeper out of the right field bullpen. Oh, look out! Look out! Breaks are on the right side, sir. This right. I'm just kidding. You're on the left. This right here. So look, oh man, yeah, that's an, an errant piece, an errant piece of grass here. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see if we can get a listen in here on what Albertson has to say to the grounds crew. Definitely an artificial piece of grass has been placed on the turf. Oh, look at the tool he's getting out now. Is he going to do a little? No, they, he puts up performers out there on the unicycle. Okay. Okay, just a little Unbelievable. Trim. Doing some manscaping. I believe he is manscaping this field right now. That is, that is the manscaped trim. Look at the job it's doing. I mean, that's a great job out of that trimmer. Maybe he could have used that manscaped razor behind home plate. You know, we saw him tripping on, on that turf earlier. I think we're having mic problems. I think the pie to the face has affected the audio here, so what a good job of manscaping that piece of lawn. <laughs> Just pu pulling the pie right out of his mic. Yep. And you saw Harry Helium got a little swab of that pie on his way out there, and he approved. Maybe that's why Crew Chief Elbertson, not too upset. 
How about that pie? See in the background there, the center fielder and right fielder trying to stay warm as they get back on the unicycles. As left fielder, you see what you do? excuse me, right you fielder using a boxing glove Rob? here in this infield. You're not here in this my half mic. inning. So technical difficulties on the field. Albertson is trying to get it straight, but he stopped time here, or he called time as, again, there's a, out, out of nowhere, just a random piece of sod laid on the field, and we can't have that as it's not the same level as the artificial turf here, so Albertson had to do some manscaping. This grounds crew, you know, a great job, except for that one patch, and it makes you wonder here, Gary, is there ill intent to, to have this entire place so pristine and almost as if they're trying to pull something on Elbertson here. We saw behind home plate and now out in right field. Uh, this is just ridiculous. Could be one of the classic magician illusions here. Just came out of nowhere. Has to make you wonder if Isaac Illusion had something to do with this. You, it does make you wonder. And I did see a wand in the dugout. Oh, look out for the grounds crew guy. Just wanna, oh, look out, look out. Oh, boy. I mean, he's got the security man with him. This is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah, he's driving around. In. Look out for the players now. As I think now we need to get the grounds crew guy off the field. Security guy making sure everyone stays off as well. Flips so as I was bird. saying, right, of course. I, I forget about the fact that the clowns, uh, the circus team thought it was really funny. Uh, to knock the microphone out with the, with the, with the pie. It's really great probably for the replay. But anyways, this is the Manscaped 4.0 lawnmower. And today's event, by the way, is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Don't look at me like that, stable. Manscaped is the premium brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. They just launched the new lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. I'm excited to be the first one to check it out and see the new features. I, I will throw people in the audience out too. I want to make that really clear. You can instantly tell the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is a work of art, yeah, very easily. Check out the two-tone black thing, black and hot foil stamp Manscaped logo. It looks beautiful. It works really well. By the way, the 4.0 trimmer features ceramic blades <laughs> with skin-safe technology. This helps reduce, uh, you know, nicks and, and cuts where they matter most, potentially down there. So it's waterproof, by the way, if you didn't know, and cordless. So you can trip in the shower, this makes cleanup <laughs> if you didn't know. Uh, oh, by the way, join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. The right tools for your family jewels. By the way, if you stop throwing pitches, get 20% off if you use the code manscaped.com slash germa or using germa at checkout. 20% I I off and free international shipping. Manscaped.com. The 4.0 trip. Totally had that memorized. No cue cards involved in that read. Just another one of the reasons why Albertson, the star crew chief in this league. Excuse me, Storm, I gotta go buy a manscape. Uh, that, that's a, a good call. We do have a former caveman on our broadcast. If you haven't heard, there's quite a bit of hair on his back that he does need to tend to. So we will hear from Gary a little bit later. Actually, I believe he is taking care of that rather quick says quite a bit about how well a job that, that Manscaped razor does for you. Yeah, I was due for a shave in the back. My wife will certainly appreciate it when I get home tonight with a nice smooth back and those uh, hands run down. I, I think she might be knocking right on my door. I think that, that hairy back might have been what was doing it for you. Yeah, yeah. Good play made over there at third base. Magicians will take their 5 to nothing lead to the bottom half of this inning. Remember, this game brought to you by Fansly, a spicy social network. Be sure to check out the link and chat in the panel below to discover exclusive content.
Welcome back to Car Shield Field, a 5 0 lead for the Maryland Magicians over the California Circus. I'm Storm Williamson, joined by my partner Gary Grunt. And now the Circus need to get something going here. Yeah, absolutely. Showing by five runs here in their half of the third inning. This is no more of a laughing matter. They have got to get some runs, and it has to start right now. Paul Laffington will try to get it going. He cracks one foul onto the green stuff out in the left field territory. Foul territory, excuse me. Yeah, almost hit the basketball hoop on that left side of the field. There's a playground as well down that left side as Albertson will get some more balls to the home plate. As we've seen a couple of now hard hit balls find the stands. Oh, some of that feel good juice again for the Magicians. Elixir of life, if you will. It, it, it makes you wonder if, if Doug Dove is getting an unfair advantage out here. Performance enhancing elixir, is that what you're saying? And, and you know you what? On the it, juice? It, it does make you wonder as well it, is there a potential deal with the drunkards in that's the true. works? That's true, too. Again, the uh, drunkards played the bimes here. Uh, crunch time will be following our broadcast here tonight. Tom Chairman and Dickie Dreck will have. Highlights and full breakdowns of the games around the JBA today. Again, the Drunkards played the Mimes. Not quite sure how many sober players the Drunkards had today. And then the Caveman versus the Old Ladies as well happening in the JBA. Get a look at that lineup for the California Circus. So a reminder, that post-game show coming your way after this crunch time. Dove. Uh-oh. Old hidden ball trick it looked like. Slide into right field, long run. Hack comes off, and the catch is made. Great running catch by Mystery, the right fielder. Had to go a long way. Lost his hat in the process, but kept the focus. As Greg all Mystery. magicians do. With that play, and Xavier McMagic giving his approval from center field. We saw him make three straight catches out there in center field in the second inning. Dove, more hidden ball tricks, as that one's fouled straight back off the pole by Greg Taffy. Yeah, Greg Laffy Taffy at the plate right now. Has plenty of different flavors that he can be successful with. I think there's no doubt that the banana flavor is hands down the best, so he would love to pull a banana flavored hit out of his pocket right here. Good eye there from Taffy. And you like that, that call from Elbertson behind home plate. Sometimes you're not sure where the pitch missed. Elbertson always lets you know. McMagic slowly. Oh, what a play. That no, had to be the elixir. The magic elixir into the glove. Xavier McMagic, beer in hand. This guy can do it all. What a slab. Oh, what a play. Falling down. It, oh, the best yeah. part of that entire play, not one drop of beer lost. Not one. Wow. Even that, the circus have some appreciation that for that. That is a man's play right there. What way? Some of the circus players getting involved with the fans here. I mean, and that looked like. That could be a good reason why they're trailing here 5 nothing. They're more focused on the antics of the game rather than playing the game. Hunter Sweets looking for a word of encouragement from his lady out in the stands after getting caught stealing at second base earlier. So after the outstanding play, here comes Sweets. Trying to steal a little candy from the fans here. To a knee for that one huge swing from Hunter Sweets, but he comes up empty. The circus have been nothing short of a clown show thus far. Oh, no, it was a moonwalk, moonwalk strike call there from Chief Umpire Elbertson. Let's fall back out of play. I see the security guard now walking in the around the stands. You can see him there. He's enjoying some of that nice elixir as well. Passes it off. Time out we are now. in good hands here tonight. Nothing going to happen here. Security has done a nice job. 
Going with the backwards hat now. Act, Telling act everybody he's not messing around and keep it within the rules and regulations of the game and the ballpark fair. Oh, oh two and Sweets is hit again. Breaks his bat. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, wisely throws the broken bat away. Doesn't, doesn't want to get caught with a weapon. Security might have to come to the field again to keep the fireworks from exploding here. So the second time he's been hit and warnings have been issued by Albertson. Doesn't want this, hand, this game to get out of hand. And you wonder if frustration might boil over here for the circus. They're losing this game big. They've been hit by pitch for the second straight time, and now their dugout gets warned for getting hit by the pitch. I think the magicians were trying to say he to dove into that. He wasn't really hit by it. It's okay. It's okay. I, 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 They're going bonkers. Yep. Trying to break out the jackhammer. And there's Hanson on the mound trying to settle his group down. He took the pie to the yeah. face well, but I don't know how well that jackhammer is going to go over. No, no. And, and that is exactly what the magicians are arguing. They don't think that he was actually hit by the pitch. They think it hit the bat, and that's why the bat broke. Yeah. So we'll see what Albertson comes, what kind of conclusion he comes to. But we have a runner on first for the California Circus. Looks like Joy Handsome has made his way back onto the bad side of Albertson. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Joey Handsome, manager for the Magicians. He doesn't have an assistant. I hear they're highly sought after though. Polka Dot, who has popped nine home runs this year. Oh, they hit the ball play. trick! They oh. hit the ball trick! The third out of the inning! The Magicians pull out the wand, create a little magic, an illusion, and they're out of this inning storm. We saw Dub do it on the mound, and now they do it at first base. Elbertson all over it. We're still at a 5 nothing score. As we go to the fourth inning, a big argument coming here. And you can just Fred see it right top. And you can see the unhappiness written all over the face of the circus manager. We'll bring you the conclusion of this showdown when we come back. You're watching JBA Baseball.
Welcome back to the Germa Baseball Association. A 5-0 lead for the Maryland Mag Magicians over the California Circus. And here is Mike Salmon leading things off. And uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh, 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 oh my. no, this could go on for a while. Oh, my goodness. This, this, is, not, this is not good. Uh, that, all, that all came out of his eyeball. Mm -hmm, ribbon in the eye. That's no fun. Might need some eye drops to the field. It really makes you wonder. He reached base his first time up with all of that in, in the back. Was that hiding in his brain? Where, where did that come from? Even more impressive that he was able to get the first inning single with all that in his eye. Unbelievable. We talked. He, he loves the adversity. We talked about him swimming upstream, and now uh -oh. he takes it uh -oh. in the ass. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Nobody who ever wants to take it that way. Hit by the pitch. And I Big Top, you already not to or excuse me, Big Boy Buckle thrown out of the game. Yeah, the magicians are out of the off, of, are out of their dugout. They want Buckle out of this game. Is again, both teams have been warned here. And Buckle has been ushered to the turf. His catcher trying to restrain him. Avoid yeah. punches being thrown. Don't need a long-term suspension here for the circus again. Playing I'm for playoff positioning. So Albertson letting the next pitcher know that there's no messing around. He already warned both dugouts in the previous inning. No more hit batters. And the first batter of this top half of this fourth inning gets drilled, as you said, Kyle, as you said Storm, right in the ass. Uh, goodness. That, that cannot feel good, first of all. And, and second, big boy on the mound. I mean, there was no fear in crew chief Albertson right there when he tossed him out of the game. I don't, wanna, I don't want big boy Buckle coming after me. Mm -mm. I don't know about you. I'm, mm -mm. I'm just not going to throw him out of the game. And I want to be taken to dinner before someone goes after my ass. <laughs> <laughs> mm, now we got another card being be played blind here. Blind and dine. Oh, boy. Power card. It's a rare power card. Let's, let's get a closer look at this one. Okay. Coach. Got to run backwards through the bases the whole inning. Backwards through the bases the whole inning. So all base runners will be running backwards here. This could be big time trouble. We've already seen Hunter Sweets so the, caught uh, stealing running forwards. I can only imagine backwards. Yeah, I believe this is the third power card we've seen here in this game. So. Both managers have done a nice job of implementing and choosing and picking their spots wisely of when to play that power card. Uh-oh, is, is Big Boy Buckle back on the field? He can't do this. I, I believe this is Greg Taffy uh -oh. who has come in to replace. Oh, goodness. And, and we got more theatrics going on now. I, I, I believe this is Big Boy who's come out yeah, back behind Yeah, Big Boy felt bad for his teammates, uh, thought they needed some refreshments. They've, you know, they've obviously seen the magicians drink on the field, so why not give it a try? The other team, you know. It ain't, it ain't cheating, you ain't trying, so. Albertson's patience is wearing thin here. See, so yep, she's trying to. Oh, he's out there. Buckle brought the pie. Yeah. And, oh, oh, goodness. I, I yeah. think he was just bringing some drinks to his fellow yeah, partners. That's exactly what he was doing. And we've seen the turf monster pop up a couple of times here tonight, so. All the more to have Albertson get that manscaper back e out. Exactly. That, that manscaped razor did wonders out in right field. We've yeah. seen some nice plays out there in right field and got some uneven blades out there right now the manscape for 4.0 would be Let's a go. great job to speaking of right field by the way right now it's unmanned now the right fielder is retreating back to his position but i'm i'm worried about left field and center field right now they just do not look very engaged right now partner yeah you saw no they don't they they've checked out of this game and now we see another pitcher going into the bullpen with the backup catcher so taffy gets tabbed here the tall right hander has a runner on first base, and the power card was played, so all runners will now have to run backwards. It's a tight inning. Throw down uh, the first. And, and hold on. He retreated back to that bag in a forward style. Crew Chief Elbertson has not called him on it. No, he has not, and the first baseman wanted the call there. Didn't get it. And, and that is one of the really important things to note here, Gary, is in these situations... You have to turn yourself around to run backwards back to the bag. You can't just run back forward. You have to go back to the training field. You know, this doesn't happen all the time. So you have to rely on your training, rely on what you've done, get you to this moment. 
You just focus on making sure you're backpedaling. Toes to the ground first, each toe backpedal left, right, left, right. Focus on that and you should be fine. All mus muscle memory for Mike Salmon over at first base. The pitch to Donald Strange, and it's a call strike. Oh, a big windup strike there from Albertson. More impressive windup, Taffy or Albertson? On the ground, chopped towards second base, a backpedaling Salmon tagged out, and they turn two. Oh, uh, what a double play there. And again, the power card and doing magic right now for on the other side for the for the circus as they played the run for our making sure those runners run backwards. Great tag, great throw over. And just the uh, just the speed from number twenty there is Again, the, on the base pass, they have to backpedal all the way to the dugout as well. Uh-oh, here come the mascots again. Oh, my goodness. We've got a, uh -oh. we've got a, uh -oh. a big time brawl about to break out. The mascots are going at it. Oh, the catcher for the circus got a couple of unnecessary shots in there on Dumbledore. Oh, no. This, this could be huge problems. They, are now, they have now exited the field of play, and I don't think this is ending anytime soon, partner. We've seen this before. These two have got some serious beef. They've gone at it the last few oh. times these teams have gotten together. This could end ugly. A couple of right-handed uppercuts from Dumbledore, and they are going at it on the dugout for the California Circus. What no one told you about Dumbledore is that in his younger days, he was a boxing, he was a boxer training with Mike Tyson. He's showing off the moves. This is Nolan Ryan-esque. Yeah, continue. Robin Ventura and Nolan Ryan basically right there as Dumbledore continuing to pummel with the rights. The security guard is going to get the jackhammer as and you know what? At least California has something to be happy about at this point. Indeed. As they're trying to throw, show some fight, show some spirit. But unfortunately, Dumbledore was a little too much for the clown. And Mascot let's, showdown. Let's circle back to the manager for the circus, Fred Big Top. How about the timing of that card that he pulls out yep. there with the runner on first to lead off the inning? They get the double play. Now two outs and nobody on as that one is shot down the left field line, slicing into the corner. It's a fair ball, and it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. That ground rule double. It, uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll backpedal into second base as it's given to him. They sprayed that ball down the left side of the field. As you'll see, a good cut here off of the breaking ball. Just did a nice job to stay back, make good contact, and right over the Grotto Beast sign. Yeah, look at the way he keeps his hands inside the baseball there on that Fansley replay. But, but going back to what you were talking about there, Storm Williams said about that power card being played at the right so time. Thank you. The manager for the California guy. Circus. Oh, no, He's it's gone guy. into the locker room now with the mascots. Oh, boy. And, and this is we what we've security always in there. wanted to see. Look oh. at this. Right. Those uppercuts uh -oh. in tight. Oh, no. The counter now. The Dumbledore finally taking some shots. This has gotten interesting, he's folks. Dazed, he's dazed and confused. Look at this. Now they're making out. Oh, my oh, goodness. A hate is, fest has turned into all love. I don't even want to know what's what happening kind of there. What kind porn stuff is this? And the backpedaling player gets past third base. Coming home. It's a good throw. The backward slide. He's out. Unbelievable play! Xavier McMagic gunned down at the plate. Yeah, McMagic just a, a, a step too slow there. A great throw from the left fielder to end that inning. It all goes back to that power card being played. Got that double play. Is this the momentum changer? The circus beat up the Magician's mascot and trail it by five. We head to the fifth inning. You're watching Germa Baseball Association.
Welcome back. You get a look at Crew Chief Albertson in command of this game. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's a 5-0 lead for the Maryland Magicians over the California Circus. Another look at Doug Dove on the mound. He will go to work once again against this circus order. He has had all kinds of success so far. And former Hall of Fame caveman Gary Grunt, tell us what's been going so well for them so far in this game. Well, the Magicians have done a very good job of, you know, taking advantage of getting good pitches to hit and then driving those balls in the gap, scoring those runs. Uh, and you hope on the other side right now, if you're a Circus fan, uh, they string together some consecutive hits here. Only one hit right now through the first four innings. Percy Polkadot hitting a robust 282 on the year and slugging 444. You'd have to think this would be the guy to break him out, if anyone. Yeah, and the Magicians are, are imploring... Are, have deployed an interesting outfield strategy here that's uh, three center fielders right now, nobody in left or right field. So we'll see how this works out for the and, magicians. You know, there's a lot of conversation out there in center field. I, I think they all just want to play center field. They're, they're kind of pointing towards the other outfield positions, trying to get each other to go out there, but they have all been determined to play center field in this inning. Anyway, if that's the position you want to play, they don't want to give it up. And, you know, ball players, you know, aren't really... They want to fight for their for that position that they play. They want they don't want to learn another position. They want to play center field. Right now we've got three of them for the magicians. Out of, of course, out of Maryland, as you mentioned earlier, it's a, a coastal battle with California taking on a team squad. The magicians out of Maryland. And meanwhile, Doug Dub has lost his command a bit on the mound. He opens up this bottom of the fourth with a four pitch walk to the leadoff man, and now it's the three hitter David Honk coming up for the circus. It feels like this is their chance right here. And we're getting some Yeah, Beer, some man, beer man is on the field uh, yeah. bringing some libations out to those three center fielders. They needed a uh, they needed to wet that whistle. It was a hard work out there in center. And I'll tell you what, it, the more impaired these magicians seem to get, the better they seem to play. Yeah. Until now, a blast into left center field, and it will one-hop the wall. He was pimping that one the whole way. David Hong not running out of the box. They had him at second base if it was an accurate throw. He's still going to third as the throw got away. He's thinking home. Here he comes. And no tag. No tag. No tag. No, They're still, still, still playing. Ball. Oh, good move. Oh, the swim move. The swim oh, move. Oh, he applied the, the tag, but the ball came out. Oh, he's no, he's safe. The circus is on the board. The swim move, the offensive lineman going up against the defensive lineman. The swim move gets to the quarterback and a run is scored. David Hawk showing off the defensive end skills. Look at that blast off of the bat. Yeah, he got not quite all of it, but enough to get it to the wall. And the three center fielders went and tracked that one down. Surprised he didn't get it over for a ground rule double, but good hustle around the base pass to uh, get that run across the board. Two runs across the board. Magicians so. manager Joy Hansom contesting the call. But indeed, that ball was dropped as you get a look at Doug Doug. There's a swim move we talked about. Just could not handle that swim move. Yeah. Too powerful. Yeah. Was Way the too top. powerful from David Honk. And, you know, some of you out there may have played a little MLB slugfest in your day. Great move there from David Honk. One of the classic moves that you will ever see in the yeah. JBA. He basically pulled, a, uh, many of our viewers may have played slug, Slugfest, but what about some NFL Blitz? Pulled out a nice NFL Blitz move there. Well, he pulled out to bomb with the bat in his hands. And then he turned on the Jets coming home. 
So two runs across for the circus. You know, Storm, my friend worked in a circus one time. He was a human cannonball when he retired. They didn't replace him. Uh, I couldn't find anyone else that was the same caliber as him. That, that is just really a shame. You know, the caliber of, of this circus team, it's incredible. It's but they heating up right now. Yeah, it's heating up right now as they try to stay off of or try to get another run on first base, but a great play by the Magicians, and maybe they have settled back down and we have another break in the action here as here come the jest the clown gestures from the California circus heading to the mound, the jugglers. Uh oh, this now this is something that could really get yes. Doug Dove off of his game. He surrendered his first two runs of the game in this inning. And now we, we talked about some of those distractions yes, that the did. starting pitcher, Big Boy Buckle, had to deal with. Well now the tables have turned. Let's see how the magicians can deal. I mean, this is this is not an easy thing. It's hard to juggle those pins in the first place, but to try to pitch with them going in front of you, behind you, and now look at this. Yeah, Joy Hansel. Another power card. Looked like a baby card being played, but the, uh, baby. Yeah, the baby that's a legendary card. Sky chosen here. player must wear a baby Sky bib here. and baby bonnet for their next at bat if they do not get a hit and add three runs for the, your team's score. And I'll tell you what, there's a reason why this is a legendary card, Gary. This is the most demoralizing card in yeah. JBA play. If you do not successfully complete the baby bib hit, it is one of the biggest game changers in this sport. We could see a tie ball game after this at bat. Yeah, we absolutely could, and certainly don't want the embarrassment of having to wear a grown up having to wear a baby bib, but. That's just the way we play it here in the JBA. And uh, I am just super impressed right now with the jugglers. Oh, they just knocked the hat off of Doug Dove, getting and, and a little chirping out for the magician's bench. The, the circus is really rounding yeah. into form circus right, is now. In town right look, now. Oh, look, look at, at all this. Look, look, look at Albertson. Now, look at the skill. Not only can he call a great no game behind way. the play, look at this. Are you kidding me? Crew Chief Albertson. I think he called himself out. Umpire Panda. Well, you know what? When when you have an out call as legendary as Crew Chief Albertson, you can't help but call yourself out time and time again. No, no, and Albertson showing off the the multi-talented skills that he has, and maybe we have seen him in the past do the spinning plate trick with a unicycle. So he toned it down just a little bit there. We've seen him in the in earlier this season where he did it with a unicycle. And now the beer guy on the magician side of it. And there's our baby bib there. This is a huge moment in this game. Yep, there's the baby bottle. Manny Upchuck that wears is a, that bib as good as any of them. That's a large nipple on that bottle. Our fabulous crew helping out as well. What size diaper do you think that is, Gary? Uh, that is a 38 large for sure. Neck end to hold some liquid. 38 large and you know we know can hold some liquid the problem is you know if, if Upchuck deposits some solids into that thing how long will it last? Not very long uh, we've had some bleed through issues with a recall problem with these this particular brand of diapers so as we'll far as happens. I understand, the payload is is 30 pounds. So as long as Manny Upchuck does not exceed I'll, I'll that weight, he should be okay. Yeah, Upchucking is fine. They don't need any downchucking right I mean, now. You don't have to pretend to be. Th that is a great point, and that's why we bring. Oh, he baby wanted to bring the bottle to the to the bait to the to the plate. So yeah, and you're not allowed to do that. No, no we, bottles we had at the plate. To Only libation bottles, elixir bottles. No baby bottles allowed at home plate. Well. So here we go. Should be a lot of action in the hips here. If Upchuck does not pick up a hit, excuse me, it would be Maryland to pick up the three runs and be out to an 8-2 to two lead. Upchuck calls time. Understanding, this is a veteran move here yeah. by Upchuck. He may be wearing a diaper, but this, this is not his first time in the box. No, sir. Love the bonnet. First pitch from Dove. Skips in and he pops it up. Just past the shortstop, tough play, but it's made. And that'll add three more 
onto the board for the Magicians. Yeah, you have to wonder if he should have just taken that pitch. It bounced in front of the plate, maybe got a little antsy, wanted to create something for his team. As you see, bouncing well in front of home plate. And it's a sand wedge to short center field. Short left center, I should say. We saw some some Vlad Guerrero type theatrics earlier in this game. I, I called out Ichiro at the time. Both of them have had their their call at it. And now Doug Dove looking back towards his defense. Oh, what do we got going on here? The old spin turn fire for a strike. Trying to change up the delivery here in the California Circus. Now trailing 8-2. to two. They've got to start stringing together some consecutive hits. Only two hits in the ball game right now for the circus. Harry Helium at the dish. Dove. Very slow. Methodical. Molasses-like oh, as he pause. shakes off the pitch a little shimmy. The Ephus is grounded towards short. Charging in, and the play is not made because now all of a sudden... He's trying to row, row, row the boat oh, down goodness. that first baseline. And not enough water to get him to first, unfortunately. It, it, was, it was not working well. You know, it, if, if maybe Upchuck had left a trail of tears deep enough for him, he could have been able to paddle his way, but it will not happen. Fans, another reminder, this game brought to you by Fansly, a spicy social network. Be sure to check out the link and chat at the, paddle, at the panel below to discover exclusive content from your favorite creators. Right back after this.
Welcome back to Car Shield Field, where the Maryland Magicians own an 8 to 2 lead over the California Circus. I'm Storm Williamson alongside Gary Grunt. Get a look at Crew Chief Albertson down there on the field. And this has been a game owned by the Magicians. That baby card pulled out, the legendary card. And the baby bib did not treat the circus well. Just when it looked like they were getting some momentum, three runs right back on the board to the Magicians. Yeah, eight two lead now for the Magicians. A slight delay here before we start the top of the fifth here. I believe there was a bathroom break that had to be had for uh, some of the players. So uh, the pregame meal had uh, here some, some hot, spicy food. So I think some players had to run to the uh, restroom to you know, take care of that. Yeah, some some things definitely that needed to be taken ooh, care of. And ooh, some we're magic. not sure Look at how this. much of it ended up in the dive. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at this illusion. Pulling out the tricks now. Up, oh, still pulling. Up, oh, still pulling. Pull. Oh, Roy Flushman. No, no, wait, wait. Come on. Where is all this coming from? There we go. The hats for bats. Keep bats warm. That's pretty good. Fans, we want to remind you about Surfshark. Do you know what geo-blocking is? Disney Plus or Netflix, for example, have movies for each country. Access should not be tied to nationality. Surfshark gives you all the access you need. Just connect the service and refresh the page. Access granted. I use Surfshark every day. It automatically starts up whenever I start my PC, and whenever I need it, I activate it with just one click. If it's good enough for Storm, it's good enough for you. Absolutely. I, I love me. You gotta so, love you some you. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A little backhanded fake throw, and it goes for a ball, but you love the idea from Laffy Taffy. Yep, absolutely. As it is Flushman at the plate. Drone screaming behind oh. home plate. And that one's taken up, so Flushman has found himself ahead in the count. 3-0 against Greg Taffy. Uh, ahead of the count, had a nice little pull uh -oh. out the ribbon trick out of the tin oh. can. Oh, Babe has called his shot. Flushman. Uh-oh. Right, right over the surf, surf shark sign. And he pops it up into he, shallow he, center. He was just pointing to the shallow center. That's where he was pointing. So that's exactly what he wanted and to do. And he pulls do, it think. off. Yeah, he just he the pointed. Shallow the shallow center pop field pop-up. So that's exactly what he wanted to do. That's not one you see executed every day. No, it, no. You ha it to give yourself up out like that, it's just such an unselfish thing to do for your team. And it takes some guts to call that shot. It's not one you see every day. So I guess he, he said, look, I got this in my back pocket, no problem. He left all of his magic in his pre-game, pre uh, pre-at-bat routine there, pulling all that yarn out of the can. Let's see what kind of magic mystery has in store for us. Craig gets oh. jammed on the first pitch from behind. Home play. Oh, oh look at the what effort. effort. Oh, but he grabbed it before it hit the ground. He's, still He's got it in his glove. What's They're it? trying to get rid of his gear. He's, He's out. out of the way. Oh, what a play. Oh, this is why you tune into the JBA. Immediately out of the dugout, Joy Handsome is livid. We saw the whole way that ball never touched the ground. Net and glove, you heard it right there from Albertson. Net and glove at the same time, that's an out. Unbelievable play made by Hunter Sweets. He's been plunked by two pitches in this game, and now some payback. I think it's about the uh, eighth or ninth warning that Albertson has given toward the Magician's bench for all the talking they've been doing. Got two outs here in the top of the fifth inning. Nobody I, aboard. I Taffy. think it's after the tenth inning or the tenth warning, or someone will get thrown out. So a couple more warnings before someone gets tossed. Pitch floats in there, and it's a call strike. Not How about sure. that? The circus in town creating a little magic of their own. And I think, you know, during that bathroom break, Taffy may have drug out a little tissue with him uh, as yeah. well. The old toilet paper on the heel of the shoe trick, huh? The left and Albertson pitch. just called himself out. And that's the second time he's done that. So Albertson is, is down to one out now yeah. in this game. Yep. Three outs and you're done. We all know how that works. One, one. 
Taffy with a one and one count facing Ronnie Smith. The pitch. Ronnie tattoos it into the gap in left center field. It gets down for a base hit. Another hit for the Magicians. Good piece of hitting. And what is this? Oh. Huh. That's some camaraderie there between opposing teams. Wow, and we'll see how these opposing dugouts <laughs> take to this. As you see, Perhaps Harry, an alliance. I, I do know he's a free agent at the end of the year. Perhaps some collusion going on, some tampering. Perhaps they come play for the California Circus. Harry Helium. You don't want to play for the Magicians anymore. Helium trying to plead his case over there. Hit sharply towards second base, but another nice play made over there. Solid as can be all day long for Paul Laffington. We're going to break here. We'll be back with the bottom of the fifth inning when we come back. Eight to two, Maryland on top of California. You're watching JBA Action. Out to an 8-2 lead over the California Circus. You're watching JBA Baseball with the bunny on screen for you right there. That's as good as it gets. That's a great illusion. Uh-oh, what's he going to do? Is it, where's the bunny going to go now? Is it just going to keep holding it? Let's see another trick, sir. You know, it reminds me of the time back in my caveman playing days where we tried to order a pizza bit game and... The operator in the other end, when we made the call from the dugout, we ordered a large pepperoni. 
And he said, do you want that in 16 slices or in 8 slices? So I said, I don't think we can eat 16 slices. Let's just make it 8. How are we doing? We good? You know, that's that's a real a good call. You would think, though, that the cavemen would have the appetite to put down yeah. 16 slices. But, you know, 8, far far less pizza to eat. So yes, that's, that's yeah. good. Yeah. A large pizza cut into 8 pieces instead of 16 is uh, much more... Uh, manageable for a group of our uh, the team that we had back there for the cavemen. Certainly, certainly. I, you know, I can't wait to get the the post game report from the crunch time on uh, see how the cavemen did today. That that New is a really really important thing for fans to look forward to. Germination. We have a post game show coming your way at yep. the conclusion of this one. Crunch time, as you heard Gary Grunt allude to it, and Gary on his way to the cavemen Hall of Fame. And that's got to be uh, not only a great honor for you, Gary, but it's going to be a lot of fun to go out there and be back with the guys that you won a championship back when, in 2017 with. Yeah, it was a great time and a great journey to be with the Caveman, and I'm, I'm happy to donate my back hair to the Hall of Fame for the Caveman as well. So uh, it should be a fun ceremony. Uh, libations will be had, and it be good to see some of my old teammates. And a lot of people don't know this, but we're actually suffering – in our world today from a back hair shortage. And if it weren't for people like you, Gary, there, there just wouldn't be enough to go around. So yeah. we appreciate what you do for the good people of not only the Germa Baseball Association, but looking out for the greater good as well. Yeah. And so it's not locks of love, you know, it's curly, uh, curly hair for love. Is curly back hair for love is what we're trying to do. And just trying to raise awareness that, you know, some men out there can't grow back hair. And uh, others like myself have some to give. And just trying to help the community and make them a little hairier. That's a little bit more caveman. From, from the heart of our Hall of Famer, Gary Grunt. <laughs> Three and one, the count to Lenny Munson. You hear that, that famed little grunt there from Gary. And, you know, <laughs> when, when you play behind home plate, mm -hmm. there, there are plenty of times where, hey, you got to reach for that baseball. you got to do this or that. Just a natural grunt. Gets the job done in those well, situations. I, it really started as kind of a joke, as I, you know, as I tended to pass a lot of gas, you know, behind home plate, so it'd be a little loud, and I didn't want Albertson to hear it, so I would grunt a little bit, and then a little, little you know, a little, uh, and a, so he couldn't tell the difference uh, it, if it was. Gary, that is, that is a poof card that Albertson was just never ready for. No, no, and uh, I had a lot of poofs in my day. So, and check this out. We got. We've got some. Oh, the circus is trying to get into the magician's dugout. Oh, and, and a and balloon and fight. Balloon sword fight has broken out here. Albertson trying to get this under order, but the circus has broken loose. Uh -huh. is that, Silly clowns. Is that Schmidt Poppo? Schmidt Poppo, after being thrown out of the game, gets back out there. To get involved in the in the balloon right. fight. Oh, I wonder if the league will take notice of that because once you've been ejected, you come funny, back on onto the field, it. you could face suspension. So uh, we'll see if the league wants to take another look at that. It, look at this. Albertson even appreciates oh, this oh, gag God. here from the circus. So we'll see if if you know that positive reinforcement from our crew chief gives them that momentum. We've been talking about it for a, quite a while now. This is a circus team that came into this game with three more wins than the Maryland Magicians. Still no outs here. Runner on first for the California Word. Circus. Three center fielders once again for the Magicians. They imported it in the last couple of innings now, and I think the guys are just having a, a good time just gabbing like a couple of schoolgirls out there. And, you know, when you're up by six, a, a little socialization is is in play. So the Magicians uh -oh. taking uh -oh. advantage. And look oh, out. Another hit batter. Oh, another hit batter. Look out. Oh, false oh. alarm. False alarm. And, you know, that was, that was a really aggressive run towards the mound by Paul Laffington. He took a 90-degree turn towards first base right as he got close to our picture. Victor Vanish on the mound for the Maryland Magicians. And decided to make it no laughing matter for Laffington as we now have runners on first and second for the California Circus. As they'll try and trapeze themselves into a couple of runs here. catapulting effort would be the one that they're looking for right now and here comes Fred Big Top and now he's joining with Joy Hansel. Now look, 
Joy clearly has the better looks, and, and he's going to try to demoralize Fred yeah. Big Top. Call him a crybaby there. You saw the crybaby motion oh, there. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Big Top. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Oh, power oh, card. Oh, he's going to play. play the power card. What a that power move. move. I, yeah, it, I was just going to say. A power move from the manager. A power oh, move yeah, on top of the power card being played. Uh-oh. This. Lights off. Uh-oh. Other coach must wear a bag on his head for the rest of the inning. So the both managers go at it, and the circus manager pulls out. The lights out car. And this is the type of stuff that has Fred Big Top in the discussion for manager of the year in the JBA this year. Look at this. He shoves Joy Handsome down to the turf and now personally goes over to put the bag on his head emphatically. Coach is definitely in the bag now. That was bagtastic. What are you talking about? Please remain Elbertson. Seated. Let's keep it up. Nobody out. The manager getting it into it with one of the fans, the magician fans near the dugout. So you got to wonder how the magician's manager can manage this game. He can't see it right now, so. That's good, bag boy. That's good. Very good. For them. Let's see what kind of defense he wants to implement as you can see the shot right there he is in the bag right now all right Jackie, let's go can't see he's got his bag but you know his his outfielder is still on that same page they are just doing whatever they want out there and you know that was that was pre bag on the head as well so maybe the magicians have just been in their bag this entire time good and pitch taffy Tips it into the mitt there. Vanish feeling himself after that delivery. Yeah, Vanish does like to feel himself a lot. Well, although it seems to disappear rather quickly. We have seen a lot of hit batters in this game. Uh -oh. Check behind the runner at second base. It bounces off of the shortstop and stays right in his general vicinity. So I thought that one was going to center field. As it looked like it took a bad hop there. You're going to look at this. It's Throw important down to, to know second that from the knees. Donovan Slate is in a straight jacket at second base. So, you know, double play situation, that's going to make it really tough to turn Very two. tough, but we've seen uh, the likes of a player of his caliber make good plays with his feet and kick the ball over nicely. So uh, no stranger to the straight jacket. And that's something that the JBA really brings out is – you know, you, you watch players in regular baseball leagues, and it's it's just not that impressive. The skill set does not need to be that wide. You better run backwards in this league, get a fly ball out into center field. All three of them have a look at it. The center center fielder chucked his glove but didn't come up with it. It's the left center fielder with the play, yeah. and they fire home to keep the runners put. A selfish play by the center center fielder there, trying to make the play without his glove, trying to put a, uh, a hex on the glove to make that catch. You'll see it right here, the, the guy in the center of the center field. Almost caught it, but the left center fielder got it. And made the out, two down here. Bag is still on. Oh, power look card. at this. Oh, my goodness. Trichotomous. This is a game breaker. All runs now worth three in this half inning. Wow. This could easily put... The circus right back into this game should we get a base hit here. Game tying run standing at second base with only one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And all the while, Joy Handsome has a bag over his head. Hunter Sweets, like candy, has got a golden opportunity for the California circus right here. Hunter Sweets came to the plate as the leadoff man for the circus in the bottom of the first inning. Hit by a pitch on an 0-2 count. Came up in his second at-bat in the third. With an 0-2 count, he was hit by the pitch, and here he grabs it, and he's going to fire it deep into right field. And it's off the glove of the right fielder, and they are rounding second and third. One three, run comes home. That's three. And another and three. we're tied. We're tied. What a, I don't even know what to call that. He snatched that right out of thin air. Hunter Sweets. Literally a circus. Catches it and launches this ball to the right center. 
Unbelievable play by Hunter Sweets. That is not something you see every day. And what a risky play to jump out in front of the plate. If you do not grab that cleanly, disaster breaks loose in an inning where all runs count for three. And, uh, the... and Joy Handsome wants to protest this call, but he can't even find Albertson with the no. bag on his head. Yeah, he didn't even see it. He's just being told what happened. And uh, he's trying to figure out that's a legal play or not. And I think Albertson's going to let it go. I, but we have to, not buying this argument. No, I mean, you have to you have to come with a succinct, logical argument, and Handsome just never got a look at that play. Six runs scored off of the base hit, and what a time again. The power cards have been played at the exact right time, the exact right moment, and they have made a huge impact in this game playing the run card. As sweet for sweets, aren't we all, sir? Aren't we all? What a play. Unbelievable, and now the go-ahead three runs standing on second base right. for Percy Polkadot. Chance to take the lead here for the circus. And he takes ball one. Percy Polkadot walked earlier in this game. Starting to turn into the greatest show here. It greatest sure show is. on dirt, or turf. Yeah, dirt. Dirt turf? Pellets. Pellets. Bounce towards third base, charging hard. Off balance, the throw oh, is spiked. Three more runs will come home. The circus have the lead. 11 to eight. A nine run inning. On three runs scored, has the circus on top. I've been reading the comments, and a lot of folks out there really didn't think that the uh, circus was going to go away, and sure enough, they're right back in this thing with the lead. Fred Big Top, one of the best in the business for a reason, pulls two power cards out of his back pocket. The timing just scintillating here in the bottom of the fifth. A three-run lead now for California, 11-8. The second baseman for the Magicians doing uh, getting a little bit more free out of that straight jacket. And you know that's that's a frustrating situation, partner. I know you've been hit with that straight jacket a few times in your playing days. It gets a little claustrophobic yeah, by the end of the inning. It, it's tough to get off, but there is a secret. Uh, obviously, this player doesn't know, and uh, it's a secret of the pros that we like to call a. Oh, that's a terrible throw. David Hawk goes down for it, golfs it out, and that one has been thrown out of the ballpark. I hope there's a, some insurance on that van over there. He may have drilled it. Yep, that was uh, an errant throw. Just took off on the center center fielder, and he might have uh, an insurance bill coming his way. Folks, Watch that, this. that ball cleared the entire stands. And let's see if we get a shot of the card almost hit. Oh, oh my gosh. What a what a look from our production crew here. Great camera work out there in center field. German baseball as professional as it gets. Oh, and he's trying to stay on first base here. He's out, but trying to... Oh, and he, oh he's out. Look at him. He's got out of the straight jacket just in time to play some defense with two outs left. And there was some confusion over who's going to be on first base. Looked like that polka dot trying to, or it was Honk, excuse me, who's standing on first base. Didn't think that they forgot he be that, out. that Crew Chief Elbertson is well in control of this game. He's letting everyone know. Also, a great job by the second baseman for the Magicians. Giggles! To get out of that straight jacket. Now he's an integral part once again of this defense. Look at the form from Elbertson. Pure athlete. Makes yep. you wonder how he's not on this field playing right now. Yeah, absolutely. He could easily be uh, play for either one of these. Oh, teams. The oh, he got away. a fan! Oh. He got a fan! You're out of the game. I've heard you the whole game. You're out. Oh, my goodness. He got two of them. Two for one. Oh, uh, fan is not happy. Picks up his trash and throws it towards Albertson and exits the game as he's now been thrown out. So, Albertson has issued a lot of warnings. His first ejection of the game, or second, excuse me, second ejection of the game. This time a fan. That's correct. We saw Popo tossed earlier in the game. He did come back out of the dugout in the balloon fight that we saw earlier. And 
We want to remind everyone, this is all going on with a bag on top of Joy Handsome, the head coach of the Maryland Magician's head. Yeah, I can't see what's happening. Can't employ uh, any shifts in the defense. Can't give his pitcher a signal. All he can do is listen and clap. And, and not only that, it, here Gary Grunt, future Hall of Famer for the Phoenix Cavemen, you can't make the necessary adjustments as Vanish pulls the hidden ball trick. Wow. Oh, he's got it in his glove. What's he came Albertson in so fast, he couldn't even see it. Off. It's a strikeout. Wow. What an illusion from the Magicians. Now you see it, now you don't, and you're out. Victor Vanish. Out of nowhere, he gets them out of the pickle. Still a three-run game, the California Circus. Oh, Big Top absolutely hates it. We'll see what he thinks in the sixth inning. We'll be back after this on JBA. It was hot. It was very hot.
Welcome back to Car Shield Field. This is the Germa Baseball Association. I am Storm Williamson, through. joined Just by back future Hall of Famer from the Cavemen, right. Gary Grunt. Mm -hmm. And Gary, right, a nine-run inning for the circus to jump back on top, 11-8. Yeah. to eight. All started with that power card being played, meaning that each run that was scored would count as three runs, and they had three runs across the board, so three times three is nine. They are now in the lead, 11-8. to eight. And how about the big time play that we had behind home plate? It was a diving catch made falling oh, into the screen by Roy Flushman. And, or excuse me, it was it was made by rather, see that was Hunter Sweets who made that play. And in the dugout for the Magicians, uh -oh. Joy Handsome had no shot of arguing the call. He had a bag over his head. He could not see anything that was going on. Trickery going on here now on our screen. Oh, oh, oh the double bird. The bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the suck it. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, the double bird suck it. And now some TP being flowed on or onto the field. I haven't done that since I was oh, sixth grade. Oh, Albertson oh. tosses yeah, another him. one. Another clown You're tossed. You're out of the game. Didn't like the toilet paper on the field. You're out of the game right now. I'm the umpire. You're out of the game. I think that I think he was trying to throw him at the umpire's been shit tonight. So I think that's why he was trying to throw the TP on the field, let him know to, to wipe it up. Wow. You're out of the game. You're out of the game. That's not a funny joke. Roll in hand. You know, he was praising. The circus earlier yeah. for for how funny they were with their antics. Mm -hmm. Now that it's directed at Albertson, he's not so happy about it. And you know, I hate to bring this up here, Gary Grunt, but is this maybe a, a little too much ego from Albertson here? Yeah, I, we we've seen it from time to time where uh, some buttons could be pushed, and uh, that's just the wrong button to push for Albertson. And uh, he didn't appreciate the gesture that he's been shit tonight. Laffy Taffy brings it home. It's in there for a call strike. Albertson, you know, he spent a long time in that bathroom he between sure innings, and y you have to say it's well-timed from uh, California. You can't yeah. be that upset. I'm thinking it was at least a 4-5 or five flusher for Albertson because he was in there way too long, and, and uh, let's hope that uh, he dropped in a couple of courtesy flushes because we saw his pregame meal, and that was probably a, a stinky, stinky poo-poo. And, you know, on the year, Albertson is is averaging 2.73 flushes per dump. And it, if he exceeded that amount, you, you have to say that is pretty warranted from California. Yeah, you, you don't want too many uh, bowel movements. And uh, we'll see how the umpire responds here, Mr. Albertson. Pitch comes in, and it's a ball low and outside. This is Mike Salmon at the plate. We saw him back his way over to first base for a single. And runner off with the pitch. It is fouled out of play to the right side. So a stolen base attempt. Make sure that your information stays safe. Use promo code JERMA to get 83% off three extra months for free of Surfshark. They offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. Surf with your own set of rules. That is Surfshark. Use the promo code JERMA to get 83% off three extra months for free. That one comes in a little bit high as well. The count to two and one. Nobody out and one man on for the Magicians here in the top of the sixth. Let's see what kind of response the Magicians have here as trailing by three now. After that big inning. Runner on the move again. In the bottom of the fifth. And they'll have to send him right back to first base. Bedazzle. <laughs> Mike Salmon, 5'10", 190 pounds. A 291 hitter, including that base hit today. The 2-2 pitch. Put on the ground towards short. This could be two to second base for one. Laffington turns around. One hopper to first and just not quite in time. As thought about. So, yeah, out and safe. Out at second base, safe at first base. The official call from Albertson is trying to regain control as well as he's trying to dry his dealing with a little swamp pass in the behind the plate right now. And, you know, we, we talked about that being, you know, one of your signature moves 
the swampness can be really a game changer, and the magicians Look are at, at it again. Oh my gosh. Just endless amounts of, of Kleenex. I mean, that's Donnie Strange. I think they might want to save that and give it to Mr. or umpire Albertson to maybe you know, soak up some of that swamp pass he's got rocking right now. Hunter Sweets is feeling a little sour after that. So now Strange will step in and, and try to come up with a hit. One saw, out in the inning. Saw Strange and BP taking some big hacks. I think he swung and missed at around five in a row and makes some contact here. So we were wondering what kind of adjustments Strange would make. He did not look good and BP made contact there. Certainly an integral part for the Magicians. Good work there by the ball clown. The ball clown really, for my money, he, he has been the best execution of anyone tonight. Yeah, yeah. Time and time again, he Quick comes out, same form, yeah. exactly. I was yeah. just going to say, he's not afraid to take that extra step, make nope. sure he's in the right position to hand the balls to Albertson. Yeah, it does a nice job of getting to Albertson to dug out. Oh, nearly quickly. took his head off. Taffy ducking for cover. And that would have been a colorful experience had that come to fruition. Another look, Strange. Just rips the cover off that ball, and Taffy do nothing but duck out of the way. Number 24, Zeke. Big yeah. chance here for the Magicians to get back in this. All they need is a three-run shot. I have to wonder if they, I, I don't know how many power cards have been played for them, as this one oh! sprayed the other way, fair ball. Just inside the line, a fair ball. One run coming home. Here comes the second, getting the wave around third. Headed towards third base himself, Xavier McMagic. And as he chucks the beer, he's coming home. He oh. chucks the can at the catcher and scores. And dabs. What a spray chart this guy has. Knocks it down the left field wall. Three runs scored, and we are tied 11-11 at the top of the sixth. What a great job of hitting right here. Going oppo field. Check that spray chart in oh, the look back. At that. Oh, the, the, he got it uh -huh. from that was Doug oh, Doug yeah. that hooked him up. And we know old Dougie has had his way with the elixir throughout this game. He knew exactly what McMagic needed, that extra oomph to get him across home plate. Did, we are yeah. all tied. He did that feel good juice, and they've been uh anytime that something special's happened for the magicians, that feel good juice has been a part of it. Two hopper to third. No problem over there for Giggles. And Sean put it in the dirt. Tag is applied. And Terma with the emphatic call. Crew yeah. Chief Albertson. Oh, the back is out. off. And now we can see hands can see now and doing the, the swan the swan move, the figure skating swan move. As he's trying to tell him that he swan dived this. You see the initial play here is bobbled. But a great recovery, and right there the tag is applied. And you can see the ballerina move down that line by the runner, trying to evade the tag or the tag, and just couldn't. And that is the kind of call that ends up getting Crew Chief Elbertson into the championship game to be the, the crew chief time and time again. Just a bang bang play, and he's all over it. All over it. Good call by Elbertson. Dumbledore really hates it, but look at that. Just just loading on the other side. And this one stung Ooh. past the shortstop. A tough hop. Roy Flushman caught it flush. Been a lot of flushes here tonight between the bathroom and Flushman. There really have. And... That's another thing that, that we've got to really take into account here. Are these restrooms still usable by the ninth inning? We're, we're just hoping for our fans' sake that we can get through this one. Yeah, going to have to maybe get a plumber in here to pipe the you-know-what right out of this field. Well, we know Roy's a little bit busy, but we'll see if he can get some, uh, some help for us out here. First pitch to Mystery, and he puts it through the hole between first and second. 
Two Just outs in the inning and two runners now for the Magicians. Yeah, Mystery is taking some good at-bats here. Extends the inning for the Magicians. They're trying to get a rally here. They led for a majority of this game. The Circus came back with nine runs in the fifth inning. And a good response here by the Magicians. They're already putting up three. They have two on with two out now with a big-time hitter coming to the plate, Smith. Ronnie Smith singled back in the fifth inning. He's one for two today. The pitch from Taffy. Bounces low and away. New ball game as we are into the sixth inning. All kinds of scoring in the last two frames, the last two innings in particular. Nine runs in the bottom of the last inning. This is bounced back up the middle. Shift on with the runner, or with the fielder, excuse me, covering at second base. And with the foot on the bag, that is out number three. We go to the bottom of the six. We're all tied at 11. You're watching the Germa Baseball Association. Tied at 11. Look at all that scoring in the last two and a half innings out here at Car Shield Field. I am Storm Williamson reminding you that today's game is brought to you by Fansly, an innovative social platform where you can connect with creators, chat one on one, unlock exclusive content, and discover new faves for the For You page. It's like TikTok for spicy content. Sign up through Twitch or Twitter today to see if your favorite creators are already having fun on Fansly. So it'll be Victor Vanish back to the mound. He was outstanding in that last half inning of work despite the nine runs being put up on the board because of a power card, and now we've got another. Yep, the upgrade. It's a rare card being played right now by the Magicians. It replaced bats with a much larger bat with more service area for this half inning. So it's more of a club that they'll be using, a caveman club. And Gary, you might have... I, the inside the game, the game, the game info on how to use this correctly. Yeah, this is my favorite bat to use yeah, when I was playing with the caveman. It's they obviously, you know, it's a, a, a hey, thick bat. Uh, I used to call mine the Fred Flintstone because it was just made of bedrock and uh, could really put some power behind the ball. And that's where I, uh, that's why I hit a lot of home runs over my career playing for the caveman. So uh, they were uh, implemented that bat. Uh, cup check here to make sure it works. I don't think actually he's wearing a cup. He's just beating himself with the balls right now. And you know what? Sometimes you get to the bottom of the sixth inning and you need a good shot between the legs to wake you up. The, the pace yeah. of play has slowed a little bit with all the scoring that we've had here lately. And a nice shot to the nuts. Wake you up right away as we have number 69, Manny Upchuck, coming to the plate. And we talk about so much when you use this club, the hair to bat ratio has to be correct, and it looks pretty good here. Oh! First pitch swinging. Throw up the line. Was the tag applied? Yes! What a defensive play. The club does not pull through there for the circus. Oh, and the he, you see a motion bat. for the swipe. Just like in his playing days, Elbertson, like it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Former first baseman turned umpire. They used to call him scoops on the field. All the and now they're scooping the balls something else. scooped up. Back in the bathroom after the debacle that we had a while ago. Again, we apologize to you fans. That's just something we can't control. You know, it, and it's one of those things, it, it'll catch up to Elbertson, what, maybe once every five games or so, and he just needs that extended time yep. in between innings. So For, Forgot to take the modium AD. He's got a little runs in his jeans right now. So that, That's right. So now Harry oh, Helium. Oh, 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 man, he's feeling oh, himself. Oh, there's look the out. juice. It, that feel it, good juice. Oh, boy, vanish. Oh, and here we go. What, what, what kind of illusion are we going to see? A two-swigger. Look out. And 
Good work. Good work. Good work. G O O D E Y E. Oh, twerking. Ooh. Look out. Oh, there's the beer man. Beer man and the now booty. The, yeah, now he's the hot dog man. Out on the field. Showing bunt. Ooh, I don't know if you want to bump the Oh, club. and Not he takes a, a strike. Nasty slider there from Vanish. Uh oh. Albertson thought about running over to the magician's bench. I guess they're still chirping yeah, there. Joy oh, Hanson's giving throwing. him a word yep, yep. of oh. his mind. And, and meanwhile, Vanish is just hammering this beer on the mound. Beer man's got him all ready for the next inning. That one comes in letter high, call strike. Uh, was that the homeless guy? Was the beer guy the homeless guy from Happy Gilmore? Because that's well, what it looks like. And you know what? That that homeless guy needs some more love because he has provided so many of these magicians with the tools necessary, those tools being that magic elixir. The magic elixir is it's working now as the count is back in the favor of Vanish. It's one and two. Could use a strikeout here. High leg kick. The pitch to uh -oh. Helium, and it caught him in the front thigh. Whoa, whoa, they oh. called it a ball. Yes. They said it didn't hit him. It didn't hit look him. at this. It did no, look like, did. no argument from Helium. He no. wants to use this club. Yeah, it, it looked like he was going to trot down first base. But he avoided the pitch just barely. I thought maybe he got his pants, but Albertson says no. Ran it in on him, and you could hear the loud crack of the bat. Chucks it in Vanish. And look at this. He's going to get a word from Helium. Oh, he tosses him from the game. Oh! oh! Psycho! Oh! Just, just when you thought you had some sportsmanship, Vanish vanishes from the handshake. Yeah, he went in there for the handshake. Say it's all good. Psych, see ya. Did the hair slick back? Oh. And you wonder if this is Harry Helium again. He has really been trying to coax some of these magicians to join the and, circus and in upcoming helium years. Helium has been tossed from this game. Oh, my gosh. He has, seemed, he has been good guy Helium throughout this contest. And he, he's been high as a kite. Now he's at the lowest of lows. Well, well thrown out of this game. Uh oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. it's a push up off. Now, okay. As a former player, Gary Grunt, how do you rate that form? Not sure of the form there. The, uh, the, the putt was a little too low for my liking. And look at this. Albertson agrees. Try it again. He's got to do it again. Yep. Look at this. We got too much booty action in the back. Yeah, look at, that's, yeah. the it's butt, like a big yeah, castle. The butt is not low enough. No. The ground. There we go. That's a little I think Albertson is accepting these. Oh. He's back in the game. He's back in. So oh, he did, okay, he, he, he did, did the necessary amount yep. of push-ups. Okay, he's back in. So, helium high once again and, and you know what not everyone can manage 10 push-ups at a time especially if you're high the way that Harry Helium is right now yeah, that would have been a big loss for the circus if Helium left this game but thankfully he was able to keep his cardio up treats the body right and not only that, his good nature will, will continue throughout this game. It appears that, that our shortstop has gotten enough of this elixir, and his energy is spread into the outfield. There are no shirts on for half of our defense right now for the Magic. Yeah, it's a, it's a warm night. It's cooled off just a little bit, but, you know, with all the drinking that the magicians have been doing, it can get a little sweaty out there, so... Uh Nice little dance there from the shortstop. Yeah, we got we got some oh, moves another, yeah, going on out moves here. Moves like Jagger. And, you know, when the shirts come off, you got to give the female audience something mm -hmm. to really write home about. There, you got to give them a reason to tune in again. One of the reasons why the JBA does it better than anyone. That's a fair ball down the line. Well, it takes a weird bounce off the wall. This is Lenny Munson headed into second base with a stand-up two-out double. Oh, Munson with a great hit. Nice double down that left field side. Of course, all players are using the club here. The bat best known for from the caveman. Someone got a hold of him. And you know what? That, that celebratory here. clown music that starts going can be a bit unnerving for the opponents. That's when California starts to feel it. The security's digging it. And we're equal opportunity. Uh, beer man. Yeah, you know, beer man here. And, and we can't forget that, you know, uh, shirts off can go both ways, so. Wild pitch allows the runner to advance from second to third. Oh. 
And that's something else to, to keep in mind here. We saw that hot start for the Maryland Magicians, and that elixir, you know, it, it brings you a good boost initially. Do they start to lose it as this game goes along as that well, elixir I, takes more effect? I think that's why you just keep drinking it. You know, the more elixir you take, uh, the better you get. You know, the more elixir you have within your system, uh, the more chance you're, you're going to be able to put up some runs, put up some big time hits. And Gary, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the decision making that that elixir, you know, if you don't have enough of it, you can't make the right decisions out there as we see a bunt attempt pushed foul up the first base side. Count to one and two. This is Paul Laffington at the plate, hitting 308 now on the year. I did notice that uh, from some of those shots, the, the cleanliness and the smoothness of the bodies, as you see there, no hair whatsoever. Those guys would not make the caveman. No, they wouldn't. And that's why you see them here they on are, the yeah, Maryland they are manscaped. Magicians. They are manscaped. Not the only thing that Razor went to work on as this is bounced back in front of the plate. Vanish, underhand flips to the bag at first. Force out and tag applied for the end of the inning. We go to the seventh. We're all tied at 11. We'll be right back with more Germa Baseball Association action.
Welcome back to Car Shield Field, where we are tied at 11. We got a baseball game going on between the lines, but meanwhile, in the dugout, a fight has broken loose. Yeah, back in the locker room right now, the mascots have been going at it for quite some time. Uh, it's like a WWE battle has broken out. Oh, chair right to the nuts. Ouch. Excuse me, a trash can to the nuts. That's never good. No doubt about it. And, you know, that's. I wouldn't wish a trash can to the nuts on anybody. And not only that, that's, again, one of those momentum changers in this game. You know that your mascot has just been blown to smithereens down in the dugout. That That's a big shot to the spirit of your squad. Look Greg, at the ball shaking clowns that now. Laffy Taffy as he comes out with the pitch. And we got a, a couple of clowns yep. right behind home plate. Yeah, the ball clowns are, are on the field trying to create havoc. One's just sitting enjoying some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Yeah, he's got his Cracker Jacks out there. This uh. is... The oh, backup this. ball clown is playing up. There's a Cracker Jack ball clown. Oh, it looks like Cheez-Its. Not sure if those are extra crunchy or not, but look like some Cheez-Its being had there. That is outstanding stuff. One of the best snacks in the snack universe. He leans into that one, and Albertson's all over it. Look at this. Oh, no, is he going? He is going to award him first base. Yeah. Sweets is giving his argument from behind home plate. You're out of the game. No. Uh, 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 look at this. Taffy's coming at him. Taffy's trying to get that out. Albertson. Never want to see a player go after the referee. And if we let Taffy know how many times uh, Albertson's been running to the bathroom in this, uh, he may not want to get too close. Yeah, exactly. You end up tackling that man, and you could get back to your feet with all kinds of mess. And we got another player thrown out. Look at this. Two of them. Are we going to have any, enough players for the clown or the circus? Uh, they are running to finish thin. this game. They are running very thin at this point. I, I believe right now no they are at the minimum for active players. What? Wait, what? It, is, it is a total of oh, some meditation going on. Ten players right now oh. for the circus. Oh. Someone is trying to realign his center and find his G. Can't Fred Circus. Fred Circus has come out of the pen. There's the right fielder just standing up. Oh, that's good balance there. Not only good balance, we talked about, you know, some of the outfielders for the Magicians not staying engaged, kind of taking a nap out there, especially in left field. You're, you're balancing on that Basu ball. You have no choice. Another player. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, the ball, one of the ball clowns. One of the three ball and, clowns. And he took the oh. Cheez-Its. Cheez Look that's, out. He's uh, got the Cheez-Its. Hey, those are white cheddar Cheez-Its. Take it easy. Put those oh my, in my, in my wait dressing room, please. So the ball I, clown has been tossed. Wait, wait a second. Is, is that... Your salary for this game was supposed to be I mean, a box of white cheddar Cheez-Its. Is that the box? That was supposed to be one of the parting gifts, absolutely. It better not be my Cheez-Its. I don't know if we're ever going to get Gary Grunt back into this booth if he does not yeah. leave this venue without his Cheez-Its. Uh, that's, 
in my contract. Box of cheese at every game for post game meal. And some people some of that said, magician elixir, if you know what I mean, yeah. there, Storm, huh? And, you know, some people said cavemen were dumb. No. Hey, we invented sign language. Pop to second base. Oh, he's going to let it bounce. He wants to get the lead runner here. Oh, look oh, at the trickery play. as they get the force. Smart play. No clowning around out there right now. Great play by the second baseman. Really well done. That's David Honk, who has shifted over to second base. He started this game out in center field. It shows the, the, the diversity for the circus. First pitch comes high and inside, off and stealing second base. It is a stolen base out there for the Magicians. And a reminder that if you want both protection and freedom online, that same kind of protection that you saw there sliding in safely to second base, click the link in the description and use code JERMA. It only gives you a whopping 83% off the regular price, but also three months of uh -oh. service oh, totally hey. for free. That's Surfshark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Is this a uh -oh. we, We've got a streaker. We've got a streaker, oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. He came up through the quad, through the gymnasium, outside the field, and onto the ball field now. Oh, my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. And you know what, it, for, for any of those Fansly fans out there, this is the type of stuff that you dream of. The kind of content that this man is going to have on his page is unmatched as he slides in safely. And security's chasing after him, and he just cannot get anywhere near him. Look at the, look at the speed from this streaker. Security, I, he's got to get in the gym. Yeah, he had something written on his chest, and something about Fansly, so... Uh, obviously a big fan, uh, wanting people to come to his page to see his content. So he's in the dugout right now. We'll see if he makes another appearance. Is that being, being told by the booth a dump truck Danny? A dump truck Danny sighting. You heard that right, folks. Dump truck Danny is in the house. Doesn't get any better than this. All tied. Late innings, little flare, shout out to right field, hopping off the Basu ball, little late break on it as he was trying to keep his balance before it got to him. One run comes home, the Magicians are back on top. Throw into third base, there is no throw. As they mishandled it, how about that Maryland back on top? Well, dump trunk Danny getting a, a little spark for the Magicians as they retake the lead here in the top half of the seventh inning. Excuse me, the bottom half. Uh, you know, that puts Fred Circus on the hook now in this game. Circus comes into this game two wins, no losses, but he has picked up two tie decisions on the year. Yeah, uh, a rare occasion you'll see a tie in this game, but uh, it happens. And Long look at this. Pause. This This is... Don't adjust your screen. It's not reloading. Your Twitch feed is not reloading. That was just strategy from the circus pitcher. Fred. Outside. Two and Sounds one. Like a swarm of bees is around the field. Uh, I get to look at it now. It's just the that drone we saw earlier. That's been getting shots from above the park and base in, hit up the middle. Infield pulled in with one out and the runner at third leaves a wide open hole up the middle for Donald Strange and he exploits it. 13 to 12, Maryland on top of California. A good piece of hitting there. Up back up still going at it in the locker room are the mascots. Looks like they're now just in a circle race. The fighting has stopped. Uh-oh. Back into it, perhaps over the chair, oh, over the training table. What a move, just wearing oh. him out. That is well done. So that fight continues to twist and turn. We'll keep you updated on what's going on down in the yeah, dugout. Talk about a Royal Rumble. That thing's been going on for quite some time. And, and you know, it's, it's one of those two. When these two teams get together to watch those two mascots, not only in... in it's all part of it, you know. It, the reason why these teams are one of the best in the league is because of those mascots.
They have done their fair share of just molly whopping opposing mascots all year long. Great matchup. And the Streaker has made another appearance. Oh, Streaker's back. Oh, look at him. He's taunting. Taunting Oh, my security. goodness. He's pulling those. He's pulling Twix right out of his package and chucking them at the security guard. Is oh, they they're hot dogs. dogs. Oh, my goodness. That's even better. And Ground ball to second here. base. Meanwhile, the Streaker backpedaling in left field as the out is recorded for the second of the inning. Dump truck Danny creating havoc out there. I think this is just going to have to uh, happen as the players continue to play here. And dump truck Danny out in left field still having a good time. I mean, he is He's just evading toying security. With security out there. Just look, look at this. Free him. Three. Free dump truck Danny. The fans have made their voices heard. Get him. Get him. Look at this. Albertson wants him off this field, but I don't think it's going to happen. A Fansley All-Star. I mean, you you just cannot say enough about this guy. That page has got to be just on fire tonight. It reminds me with this golden thong. If you remember a great baseball hitter in the Major League Baseball named by Jason Giambi. And whenever he would get into a slump or a teammate would get into a slump, they'd put on a golden underwear, golden thong. And that's very much like what Dump Trunk Danny's wearing out there right now. Oh, oh blast smoked. into deep left field, unicycling towards it. He can't make it in time. It one hops the wall, and the Magicians have tacked on a third in this inning. He turns on the Jets, thinking three, and Martin Majestic coming off the bench with a pinch hit RBI triple. Boy, what a majestic slide into third base. We'll get another look at this as a roped into left field. Uh, the streaker right now paying dividends for the magicians as it really has the circus caught off guard here and it has to be it really has to do with that golden underwear that's just flailing around right off the fansley sign uh -oh, and now hit batter. and it's another hit by pitch this time getting hit albertson just is beside himself can't believe it that another pitcher would hit a, a, a batter here He's awarding first base now. That's Takes so a look over into the circus dugout. You've been it's the Flushman, and you know what? He's probably going to have a sore ass tomorrow, You've too. Been, yeah, yeah. There's going to be a lot of sore asses out there between junk, drunk, uh, dump truck Danny and these players getting rear-ended in the ass with these pitches. This is escalating rather quickly. Golden un underwear. Guys wearing it in the rear end. Coach Hanson went over to talk about why ha, ha, how come nobody has been thrown out yet, especially with all the, uh, the umpteenth time that these teams have been warned about hitting somebody. And I believe the response was they have no other players. They can't throw anybody else out. Okay. So we're Albertson wants to talk to the shortstop. No more throwing at people. Wants to make sure everyone's on the same page. I threw you out once, I threw it again. He's threatening to throw out again. Harry Helium. Albertson doesn't want to talk back. Hold on. You know, Harry is had nothing. It's an ump show now. He's had nothing but nice things to say all game long. What's going on back here? Do you have a verdict? Yeah. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They're, they're uh, wanting to know about the mascot fight. We've it. been showing you highlights throughout. It's Elberson. still going on. It's a Royal uh, Rumble. I'm not quite it, sure which locker room, but the Dumbledore mascot and the Dopey the Clown have been going at it. And Elbertson is clearly and still invested. Yes. Oh, Chen oh in the back. Chen in the back again. Dopey. Oh, to the face. Oh, my goodness. I think if whoever wins this battle gets a run tacked onto their score. Oh, meanwhile, oh, they're the back. thrown out at home, trying to steal home. They get him. Oh, my goodness. Utter craziness happening on both fronts. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Out with an argument. Here comes Joy Handsome again. He is so handsome, he can't help but argue with a huge smile. I don't believe what I just saw in the locker room and on the field. A, a steal of home plate. You don't see it too often. What a play. And good work by the circus uh, mascot. Uh-oh, here we go. Look, it, uh -oh. Oh, my. oh Dumbledore the could pin. be out That's for a run. That is a run forward. for the circus. So attack one. We'll talk to the scoreboard people. Tack one on for the circus. The and pin that is huge. By the Pulls them back within two. We'll be right back on JBA.
Welcome back to Car Shield Field. As you see, Germination out in droves here to take in this contest between the Maryland Magicians and the California Circus. That big nine run inning in the fifth momentarily put the Circus on top, but the Magicians have answered back a back and forth grinder of a game, and the pin gets California another run, so they're back within two after that mascot duel down in the dugout. Yeah, the battle of mascots, the win goes to the circus. So, And now we've got the streaker in a yoga session right now with some of the players getting them stretched out. Uh, this is the seventh inning stretch, so it completely makes sense that uh, Dump Truck Danny would lead the some of the squad members in some Pilates type yoga. And you don't get a dump truck like oh. Danny has for no reason. He is taking the clowns through his routine. And look out for some of these circus members on Fansley after the game. They will have certainly learned a thing or two from dump truck. And dump truck, one of the uh, finer instructors in the country. Hey, gang. And you got to look out, too. You know. I understand that that uh, our crew chief, Elbertson, might not be appreciating this, but you never know how many extra hot dogs our our guy, Dump Truck Danny, has hidden down in that package. Yeah, there's uh, well, that look like too many. Uh, well, maybe just well, one medium-sized one, but we'll see. You never quite know. It, it, it hasn't could, been fully cooked yet. It's still in the That's, in, that's in, true. Made. No one wants to know how the hot dog's made. They just want to eat it, you know? The, the raw dog does have a different volume. The, yeah. the, you know, it's, we won't get into no it. No raw dog. It's, it's the Maryland Magicians up 14 to 12 over the California hey, Circus. Oh, they don't, wait, we're trying to play ball here. So oh, look at this. So over. We, don't, we don't have enough players for California. Can, I don't know the rule book, but. You were talking the, about yeah, this earlier. Can, can the Magicians lend, right now? send somebody on loan? as they do in European soccer, loan a player to the circus. Let's see what happens here. What kind of... Is, this is a is tough situation. I'm not, I'm not sure what the solution is. is. Albertson has a bat in his hands right now. He's getting a helmet now. Wait a now. second. Uh -oh. No, no. He needs a jersey. Are umpires about to enter this game for California? He needs a jersey. Okay, this is... You know, we've seen a, a lot standard over the issued. course of this year, but this is... This might be a step far. Look at this. El this is this is true dedication to the league. You know, they the don't have enough players. He says the show let's go, let's must go, go, go on. I'm digging up some stats. You know, the JBA does a good job of keeping random stats. This is actually uh, Elbertson's third at bat in his career as an umpire. So not unheard of that he's done this before. He's over two in his career. Let's see if he gets his first hit. He bats from the right side, slightly open stance, first pitch, tried to frame it up, and he calls it high. He calls it high. It, <laughs> he, you know, that looked to be just underneath up, the letters for a call strike, and Elbertson, hey, surprise, surprise, it's ball, ball one. one. Ball one, of course, as Albertson in the play, uh, at bat, pinch hitting for the circus. You know, and he called another ball. You know, was outside the play. Elbertson may only have three at bats as an umpire, but he's hitting 238. So as good as the stats that they keep here for for the JBA, the math may be a little bit off. Look at this! He's pulled it down the line. It's fair. Albertson speeding past first. He's thinking two. Throw comes in the second. Oh, he takes a quick turnaround and a good decision by Crew Chief <laughs> Albertson. He rules himself safe at first. Now you got to wonder if he's going to call balls and strikes from first base, but uh, a trickler down the left side found an open hole, past the diving third baseman and into the outfield. Thankfully, the left fielder, good. You can see the wheels there. Look at the form with the running. A good stop and track back there. Like, I'm not like, sure if he knows what to do with his hands quite he's, with when he's running. I, I love the technique. It's it's like he's getting mad at the air. He's karate chopping the air as he goes around, and it just fires you up. So the ump is on first base, and, and, and he's calling balls and strikes in there. Well, he he has a little bit better view from oh. over there. It's something that he told me. Oh. I actually caught up with Crew Chief Elbertson before this game, and you know I raised that question as we get another look at Dump Truck Danny. He's hanging out with with Joy Handsome and. Wonder if Joy's rubbing off on him a little bit. That'll Joy. up that that Fansley page content even more. I gotta tell you, Dumpster Danny's double dipping. You know, 
he's going. He, he's seducing the circus bench with uh, hot oh, oh, yoga, oh, oh, oh. and now he's over in the magician's bench. There you see, right there in the dugout. There's Dump Truck Danny. Well, you know, the, the, ball, ball the ball players have been known to, to not be able to turn down a dump truck easily. And when a guy like Danny walks into your life, it's just hard to say no. It, it's hard to say no, and, and you know, and he's, he's doing it for a good cause. he got to free the ball handler. So and that one's outside. Three and one count here. And not only that, fondling abilities really translates well to this game. And we'll see if, you know, he can give a few fondling lessons down in the dugout. Yeah, you really want to, you know, make sure you, to tickle it just a little bit. Look at the, look at the showboating down to second base. And, you know, Albertson, he, he would have none of this from one of the players in the game. Yet here he goes himself showboating on a walk down to second base. I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah, that, that's not something Albertson tolerates when he's behind the plate, but now that he's thrust into a, a position player role, he has to play both roles now. He has to play umpire crew chief and try to score a run here for the California Circus. Yeah, that may get lost in all of this. We got a two-run ball game in the bottom of the seventh inning. These are crunch, crunch time moments. And don't forget to tune into crunch time after this game. That's our post-game show. We'll get you updates from other scores around the league and highlights and maybe even unpack a little bit more of, of some of the craziness that's gone on in this one. Yeah, plenty of games around the league here tonight. We'll uh, have crunch time in the post game. It's uh, Tom Chairman and Dickie Dreck will have your highlights from all across the league here in the JBA. Victor Vanish with the pitch to Percy Polkadot. And the call's being made Straight from here. second base. Uh-oh, dump truck Danny. Doing Get cartwheels loose. now. Get another look at that scoreboard real quick. Oh, see, see, he's double dipping. He's going in between benches, giving each bench a, a little taste of, of the dump truck. And you notice how there is just zero protest from either wow. dugout. They are with wide open arms welcoming him as we get called. Third strike caught off of second base. Uh-oh. Oh. Problems Elvis here for Elvis. And a run down. Uh-oh, he he's going to try to take third. He's still caught in the pickle. He's headed back the other way. He's chopping air furiously. Oh, great ball drop is dropped Stop on drop the tag roll. attempt. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Is there another ball out there? Does Albertson know that he's out or safe? Let's see what he's going to call here. He's been tagged out Turn. twice by two separate balls, and Calls he's safe. Himself safe. Oh, my goodness. Have another look at this. Fansley brings you it. Uh oh Sneaky. Uh -oh. Sneaky. The old sleight of hand. It, well, you would expect nothing less from the magicians. Right back into his pocket, unbeknownst to Elbertson. And that's the kind of stuff that have made the Maryland magicians a winning ball club year in and year out. Yeah, and you got to wonder if some of the other general managers, managers are around the league and they see Albertson playing such an impactful role right now, if maybe he'll get a call up. And this is a really big moment in this game. We've seen some of the power cards that have been played that have made a really big impact on this game. And now with Elbertson running on the base pass for California down by two, there's got to be a lot of strategy being yeah. discussed there and, on the mound. And we're seeing it right now. A, a, new, a new elixir has been brewed by the Magicians. It has been given to their keeper, or excuse me, their pitcher. Pulling rabbits out of hats, elixirs out of bottles. Well, you know, and, and this is why I defer to the future Hall of Famer, Gary Grunt. I wrote, brought up the question earlier in this game, is that elixir going to be a detriment to this Magicians team? You said, no, no, no. no. This, is, this is something that this team needs to be consistent with throughout the game, and we're starting to see that here now in the late innings. Yeah, we used to live there by this uh, for the old caveman, you know, uh, the more elixir, the better. Oh, Vanish has pulled another trick. It's still in his hand. Oh, the tag comes from behind. Albertson tagged out. He Let's didn't even call, know. So. What could he oh, boy, he recognizes now. There's two balls in play. Albertson is privy to what's going on here. How does it turn uh, out? Look the, at this. The old two balls. Two balls. Safe. Oh, uh, two balls, and he safe. rolls them safe. Two balls, change of drawers. Two balls. 
If there's anyone who understands that, it should be Joy Handsome after hanging out with Dump Truck Danny just seconds ago. I don't know if he's just telling everyone he has two balls or there was actually two balls on the field. Either way, you'd think that he would have to understand. And Albertson has made this a one-run ball game, 14-13. The old two ball track. Oh, there's a streaker. And that is a dump truck if I have ever seen one. My goodness. Uh, pretty flat, though, if you ask me. I don't know. Uh, nothing really happened in back there. He okay. must He must have a, a dump truck must have come from uh, a different nickname, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Danny, he's, he's seen his career really yeah. change over the years. He's... He used to have that huge badonka donk. Yeah, we should call now he's got to get it done in different ways. Yeah, she should call him No Ass. Well, we. No we, Ass Danny. <laughs> security thinking, look, this is my chance. And look at look at Danny just taunting him. Yeah, bring it on. The oh, dump truck hey, says, look, I got right, moves for right, yeah. days. Oh, look at that jiggle jiggle. Ooh. It, you know what? It His makes money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. <laughs> makes you wiggle wiggle. Riding into Sviat. Oh my goodness, who would have thought it. this? Security chasing him all game long and Dump Trunk gets the biggie, the piggyback ride. He's on the loose again, you can't stop this he man. He's just glowing right now with just a sexy sweat. Xavier McMagic has moved to the mound and in the blink of an eye he has delivered ball one low, some serious heat coming from the right-hander, and Dump Truck starting to look a little bit worn out now. That stamina is starting to take a hit. And it's starting to get a little buggy. The dew point is high here in the uh, in the area right now. Is Xavier McMagic on the rubber now for the Magicians. 2.31 ERA, three wins and one loss for the six foot two, 205 pound right-hander. Saw McMagic make some great plays in the field, and certainly that stamina is running down. Danny Dumptruck, a guy that's been known to go all night long earlier in his career, again, that, that career arc just changing and, and progressing. You have to learn to get it done in different ways, you know? He, he used to be able to just make it happen. Any amount of, of physical force needed all night long, he could get it done. He's got to do it in more subtle ways now. I can't tell if the security guard's trying to play defense for the magicians or he's just trying to work his way over to dump truck Danny and he's on the move once again. Yeah, Dan Danny was not going to be fooled by that. Security guard not quite fleet of foot. No. So back into the magicians dug out goes dump truck. And we had a strikeout, meanwhile. So two outs in the inning. Runner advances to second base on that steal. High chopper, McMagic oh, barehands it. And oh my goodness, it, what, would you consider that to be? That might be the play of the game. Oh my gosh, it's up there. No doubt about it. Uh, between that and when the uh, uh, circus catcher ran over into the netting to, to get that foul ball, but that's a great play right there. We love that play by Hunter Sweets as well. That'll do it here for the seventh inning. When we come back, we've got the eighth coming your way. You're watching the Germa Baseball Association right here on Twitch.
We've got a one-run ball game here at Car Shield Field as we come to play here in the eighth inning. Fans, in the ocean of online content, there's a lot of websites and little crabs that can take your info without you even knowing it. But you can swim under their radar using Surfshark VPN. And, oh, my goodness, you, you're going to want to keep a whole lot of stuff safe. we got a, a, a fire show of sorts going on out here. What is this? This this cannot this cannot be safe. Drones heading over there to try to get is this a fire off here. He is fire breathing. We we wow. talked about fire breathing dragons. We've got fire breathing circus. It's a firefight. Oh my goodness. And Albertson just trying to get the batter up here. Magicians trying to figure out who they're trying to send to the plate. But look at this danger. Danger Will Robinson. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. I've always wondered what they've, you know, put in their mouth to you. And obviously, it's not gasoline, is it? Or are they just <laughs> drinking gasoline and then blowing it in his mouth? I'd love to know what he's drinking and then spitting to make that happen. It's got to be Everclear, I mean, look right? look at that, right? Yeah, some type of really hard look. Moonshine. Meanwhile, dropping the bat down on this one, a high, deep fly ball in the right field, but Craig Mystery is put away with the fly out for the first out of the top of the eighth. <laughs> Looks like it's just water. Number 15. I didn't know water did that. Now you do. He's Boy, there. that water, maybe that's the elixir of life that the magicians have been Look at that. And as a Don't try this caveman, at home, kids. You have to appreciate another way for you to light that fire. And yeah. we got a card being played here. Yeah, but, uh, it's the playing tag. There are no force outs for this half inning. So all outs have to come via the tag. And going go back to the caveman creating fire. Absolutely. It was, uh, we went through some cold nights on the road for the caveman. And we certainly could have used uh, a fire starter like that uh, on our squad for back in the day. Yeah, maybe explain to the fans right now, for those that, that don't quite understand, how difficult it is to leave your hut where you're used to being, yeah. where you're comfortable, to have to go on the road and, and learn how you're going to find a, a source of fire, all these different things that cavemen have to worry about. Well, it's not for everyone, and only the finest cavemen can really escape the cave. So uh, there's a couple of tests you have to take. You, you, know, you have to count to ten. Uh, can you do your ABCDs? Can you sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Uh, so there's a couple of things that you have to uh, to get done before you can leave the cave. And I was fortunate enough to be blessed with uh, uh, just an undenying ability to club the baseball as well as have a, a couple of smarts in my brain as well. It's the voice of Gary Grunt, future <laughs> Hall of Famer, as we had a scorched single, the second hit of the ball game for Ronnie Smith. And look at this. We've got another Beach card ball. being played, this time by the circus. Oh, oh beach balls. And Life's the beach, beach and we're going to break them out. So the opposing pitcher must use a beach ball for this next How about this strategy? Only tag outs go to the beach ball. Yep. Brilliant ball move. Beach ball. Beach ball. Yep, now we just need the beach, beach ball. ball. So I don't know if someone has it blown up. Oh, it comes out of the magician's dugout. Oh, how convenient. So, Coach Handsome bringing the ball out. Oh! oh. Taunting. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And, you know, Joy, Did Joy he has, it? he's, no. He, he's Don't done a nice job, shots. though, of pushing the line, not getting too far on Albertson's bad side. As we saw, the circus just took it over the top in those middle innings. Every, and look at this defensive yep, alignment. Yep. yep. They're, they're thinking this is going to be an easy out. The Amoeba defense. Ooh, knuckleball. Didn't quite make Nasty it to the plate. Nasty pitch, and it's a 30-footer. Oh, did that, that hit him? Did, did hit that him? hit him? Oh, no, I was going to say, just inside. And they call it a ball. It's I, a ball. Yeah. And so important with this beach ball, you got to get the right spin. If there's any kind of slider or downward action on it, you see, you see there, he's not getting the proper backspin. That's never going to no, make it to home no, plate. Just can't get over the top of the ball right now. And uh, runner on third as, again, all circus position players are in the infield. At Fred Circus, he's sitting at a 3-4-5 ERA, but this beach ball is threatening to balloon his ERA. Oh! Oh! 
The diving grab! Uh oh, dump truck doesn't like it. Oh, Danny's trying to get involved. Oh, he can't get it. Oh, look at this. Elbertson oh, put a hand on him. Sweaty. I think Elbertson just wanted to get a hold of the dump truck. Elbertson grasping for that dump truck as hard as he can. Yeah, I can't grab those dump trucks. Too sweaty right now. Too misty. Elusive. you got to watch out. The, the swamp ass factor is oh, a yeah. big thing in these kind of situations. You grab anywhere around the waist, it's going to be is tough it, to corral. Well, let's just that. be thankful that the uh, umpire, Elverson, didn't get any of the waist action because we could have seen a lot more than a golden thumb. Oh, my goodness. They're coming home with it. And and the tag out. He tags him out. Oh, my goodness. What a half inning. The power cards being played, it does not matter. The California Circus are still alive. Going to the bottom of the eighth. It's a one run ball game. You will not want to miss it. What a play. Have another look as we go to break. That's up Chuck with the play. We'll be right back after this on Twitch. How about that? You make an amazing play in the field, and right after that, Manny Upchuck, 69 to the play. 69. <laughs> we did a lot of that in my play in Dave with the Caveman. Uh, certainly, no doubt about it. And, and now the, the magicians have just been TP, abs yep. absolutely TP'd to hell. Is that the new version of a being Rick rolled? They've been, rolled? they've been rolled. There's no doubt about that. Upchuck watches it sail over his head. There's a lot going on in tonight's game. And, you know, that's that's all part of it. It's it's the level of focus that you bring in the late innings in a game like this. One run ball game, toilet paper being thrown, people are getting pied in the face, Streakers. and now a 90 yeah. mile an hour fastball right at the knees. It's just all in uh, one game's play here at the JBA. By the way, this is Jack Port on the mound, a .76 ERA for the season as Upchuck tips it into the mitt. 69, not the correct number right now. No, not at, not at all. As you see Port's numbers there, uh, opponent average of 168, his whip at 110. That's exactly where you want your numbers to be, successful to be if you want to be a successful pitcher. Up check. <gasps> Take strength three. Paints the outside corner. Got to swing the bat. You can't, if you're, if you're going to wear a number 69, you can't just go down without a swing. No if looking. you were going to wear no a number looking. 69, you, you gotta, gotta have the cojones, it. the big marbles, to be able to swing the bat. Speaking of big marbles. He's loose again. Dump truck Danny, I mean this guy. You almost feel bad for the security guard trying to keep this. 
Well, and keep you know dump what? Truck off I, the field. I, I feel bad for Dump Truck Danny that I was dogging his stamina earlier in this game. Look at this dude go. Yeah, he does hot yoga, so uh, he's got the stamina. And people don't realize just how sweaty you get when you do hot yoga. Dump Truck Danny has those pores just permanently open as this is booted at short. And that will allow him at first base to reach. That's Harry Helium. Dump Truck Danny back at it again. Look at this guy. Nice security guy. Number 19. Just no chance for the security. Look, oh my, that is uh, a beautiful job. And you know what, Gary, you have to appreciate that. Yeah, oh, here we go. Uh, right, right through into the cave. There he goes, and dump truck is gone. Oh, I see. It's like a, you know, like a Looney Tunes Warner Brothers thing. Yeah, he's got his would little. Paint oh, the, yeah. look oh, at that. <laughs> can't go in. Sorry. Access denied. Uh -huh. Sorry, that's only dump truck Danny's. <laughs> oh my! Look at this. Yeah, that's dump truck Danny's territory. No entering that cave. I mean, if Bugs had just a golden speedo, it's dump truck Danny. <laughs> the golden speedo of love. The pitch comes in high. Sweaty, nasty, smelly love. And let's not forget the role that Crew Chief Elbertson played in this game to keep this within reach for California. Yeah. He was huge coming in when they didn't have enough players to play. This one's popped into foul territory. Third baseman going back on it, and he makes the play down to his knees. Well done, and the Maryland Magicians now have two outs in the inning here in the top of the, or excuse me, the bottom of the eighth inning. Mystery doesn't spend a lot of time on his knees, but does a great job here. Dump truck Danny knows a thing or two about that, and he would approve. Two outs, runner at first base is Harry Helium. And now Paul Laffington. Grounded out his last time up. He's 0 for 2. That pitch gets away. And Helium into scoring position now with two downs. The game, the game's potential tying run. At second base, you get a look at that scoreboard. It is 16 hits for the Magicians. Oh my God. This is as high as we get. As high as we get is 15. So as soon as we get to 16, they turn it upside down. So I wonder if they get 17 hits, is it the upside down 14? Do they go the other way. Do they go back down and just put the numbers upside down? It, Harry Helium might have We haven't, we haven't seen this many runs scored in quite some time, or this many hits at least. I mean, this league is known for low scoring. And really good pitching, but tonight that that storyline has been flown out the window. I mean, you see it with the .76 ERA from Jack Port as he delivers a nasty one underneath the hands of Laffington. All he could do was foul it away and try to live for another. And, one and know, two is the count here. It, something else that's that's really important, I think, as a ball player. You see that quick grab between the legs, in between pitches, adjust your nuts, adjust your swing. That, that's typically the approach, Yeah, correct? pretty much. You know, you want to get comfortable, and sometimes, uh, you know, if you got long balls up there, you got to keep it short. And, uh, you got to keep the wide stance so they hang, and uh, you're just looking to make contact. Contact is the key. Oh, the pickoff moving. They got him at second base. What a play! The Magicians pull one out of their sleeve to get out of the inning. Fans, this inning is brought to you by Fansly, a spicy social network. Be sure to check out the link and chat at the panel below to discover exclusive content from your favorite creators. Back for more after this, this is the JBA.
have entered the final and ninth inning of a wild 14-13 ball game. Even crew chief Elbertson starting to run a little bit short fused out here. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of antics which we are known to see here at the JBA. But sometimes they can get a little too wacky and you know every man has its limit and Albertson you know it may have been uh, reached right now. You know, I got to say, for a one-man crew chief on an artificial field, this is the cleanest home plate I have ever seen kept. Yeah, he's done a nice job clean, keeping the home plate clean. You know, I'm, I, you'd think that his wife appreciates the uh, the cleanliness when oh. he gets back home to the Sugar Mama tonight. Salmon trying to bunt his way aboard to lead off this top of the ninth, but to no avail. And Elbertson has injured himself. And whoever he has to come in for next will probably not want that injured Elbertson on their squad. Uh, he's shaking it off on the left hand. I don't think we have an ambulance on site here, so they may have to make that call should it get any worse for Elbertson. This is Fred Circus on the mound delivering inside. One and one the count. Fans, another reminder that after this game, we have got coverage from around the league for you. It's crunch time. That'll be Tom Chairman joined by Dickie Dreck coming your way right after this one. And that, Mike Salmon is contesting that that one hit him in the arm now as he is acting as if it hit him in the arm. I thought it caught a little bit of his jersey, but didn't catch him in the arm, I didn't think. Yeah, he, sold it. he sold it. Salmon has sold it. We'll get a replay of it here. And Albertson by buying it. Look at it. It definitely came inside oh, right oh. in that armpit area, and it may have caught him in the arm. It didn't hit the left arm. It looked like it hit the back of his right arm, so... First base has been awarded. Ball clown back on the field. It's like a couple more balls for Albertson. <laughs> and, you know, that was a little bit of a cheap shot from Albertson. I mean, this guy has been helping him out, retrieving balls all game long, and rewards him with a swift kick to the nuts. Yeah, you know, like I said, uh, every man has his limits, and right now I think Albertson has reached his. Now he's coming over to talk to the fans. Leadoff man has Get reached ball, in this yeah. inning and Mike Salmon. It's now Donald Strange at the plate here in the ninth inning. And this one is driven into left field, going back on it. The catch is made for the first out of the inning. Good wood there, just not enough height underneath that ball to get over the left fielder's head. And a good play out in left field, routine play for the left fielder here. About 10 steps back from his original position. Make that snag. Good play. Number 24, And there is the victorious mascot. Oh, yeah. Took it to Dumbledore earlier. Now he's enjoying the fruits of his victory. Trying to distract his own pitcher, apparently. It's working. Yeah, through a ball. Or uh oh, look, uh oh, oh, that's Ooh, just. Maybe, that's maybe he's just giving Crew Chief Elbertson exactly what he needs here. That's disturbing. Oh, uh -oh. oh, a little, boop. A little contact. Uh oh, 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 Danza. Oh, double door. Wants revenge. Oh, my goodness. A, uh, a revenge uh, pin. Oh, oh no. no, no. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. my. Oh, that's. Yeah, that, that turned rather quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is supposed to be a family show. Apologize to the kids out there. Oh, but he hammered in the ass. Some mascot on mascot loving happening here. Nobody wants to see that on live television. That's why they go to the internet for that stuff. Well, this is technically live television on the internet. That's the way you do expect it. Just another day in the JBA. Some, some people say backdoor guests are best. Inside with that pitch, borderline from Fred Circus. He removes the hat, unhappy with the call. Here comes another one. This time it's outside, and Circus leaning. Can't believe it. It's a walk. No, three and one now. Big cut and a miss from Xavier McMagic. McMagic had the ground rule double back in the fourth inning. The payoff is spoiled. 
big moments in this game. One out, runner at second base. In a one-run game, the Magicians trying to add insurance here in the top half of the ninth. Come for the baseball, stay for the mascot loving. Or should I say mascot humping? That one's fouled off. Oh, oh, I thought that was surely going to hit the car over there. That would have been a, uh, quite the insurance claim. Uh, yeah, how did your car windshield break? Well, I was at the JBA and pitch got fouled off. Next thing you know, I've got to replace my windshield. People would understand. You get a look over there. Yeah. Oh, the late swing, but they call ball four. Wow. They award him first base, and look at this. Fred Circus not even contesting that call. I, I have no words for this, that Hunter Sweets is just not up in arms here. So runners on first and second for the Magicians in front here in the top half of the ninth inning. Martin Majestic came in as a pinch hitter couple innings ago. He comes to the dish once again now. Go look at Fred Big Top. He's like, look, he swung. We are approaching a four-hour game time here now. Glad you're with us. For this JBA all-important game here. Playoff implications on the line. Oh, Majestic. Taken by surprise by the pitch, but it's high. Ball one. The next from Circus. In for a strike and Majestic looking up above his head. High fly ball into medium depth center field. Towards right center, the catch is made. Both runners tag, fired towards third base and the pick unable to be made. It skips over the sidewall, out of play and home plate is awarded. It's a 15-13 Magician's lead. And that was a nice arm from out in center field from David Honk, just caught it on the in-between hop. Yeah, not, not this kind of scoops you want to see from a third baseman there. And it short hopped him. Almost like a Roger Dorn, he gave you the Ole bullshit. And you know, they, they may get him some extra work back in the bathroom. I know Albertson has certainly provided some work for someone. And we'll see if it'll be scoops over at third base. Sean Giggles might not be laughing about that one after the game. Yeah, no, no giggling after that, especially if a run scores. One and oh, the count. It's Roy Flushman again as he takes up and throw down to second base. It is a stolen base. Uh, late throw. I believe that was Mitch, Mick Magic luring that throw. Kind of stopped about three quarters of the way. And wanted to catch it to throw down, and he did. The 2 0 pitch. Pulled on the ground. Foul down the third base side. <laughs> and ball clown. <laughs> home plates, flying a fresh set of balls. Gives a tweet of the horn. That wasn't a fart, that was a tweet horn. A long turn in a pitch is fouled back out of play. Two two count here. Oh, quick pitch! Try to catch him off guard. Play made by the third baseman. Throw across is away, and another error on the circus. There's going to have to be some serious poop and scooping going on after this game for the circus. Oh my goodness, he he lost the ball. Doesn't know where it is. No one knows where it is. We're all doing 360s out here. Oh. Albertson. Oh oh, it's a pickle. Throw it back home. He's caught in the rundown. And the tag made. It's another great play by Upchuck. He has been on point defensively in this game for the circus. Yeah, a mental mistake there from the Magicians. And it kind of opens the door up a little bit here for the circus as they kind of had an easy run there. Instead of a three-run lead, it's now just a two-run lead as Aaron base running costing, costing the Magicians. Just when you thought. The Magicians have seen this one a million times. They get caught off guard. 
and that'll do it for the top half of the ninth. One last chance for the circus when we come back. You're watching the Germa Baseball Association on Twitch. Welcome back, entering the ninth inning of play. We've got a two-run ball game. The California Circus trying to get back into this one against the Maryland Magicians. I am Storm Williamson, joined by my partner here, Gary Grunt, the Phoenix Caveman great. We've been treated to some tremendous baseball tonight, and you would expect a fireworks finish in this one. Yeah, a lot of runs scored. The Magicians going into this final half inning with a two-run lead. Circus still with a chance. It could easily tie this one up. We'll see if they can close it out Paul, here at Car Shield Field. Paul Laffington, first to the dish. He ducks out of the way of ball one. Still Jack Port on the mound for the Maryland Magicians. It's 2-0 to Laffington. Make it 3-0. Not what you want to see out of your guy in the ninth mm -hmm. inning with a two-run lead and yeah, three top closer, straight balls. Yeah, yeah your top closer, you, you want him coming in pumping strikes. Oh, my gosh. Jackhammers that one, but yanks it well foul. 3-1. Three and one. Laffington is 0 for 2, grounded out his last time up in the sixth. Pops it up behind home plate. Flushman can't locate it. And it'll land foul harmlessly. It'll stay alive here. Good work to 
take lost that ball. In the and, yeah, lost in the lights. Catcher couldn't find it. Three and two, the count now to Paul Laffington. Extremely shallow in the outfield for Laffington as he pops it up on the infield. Pitcher coming in for it and makes the grab. First out Jack of the Port inning, yeah. comes back from 3-0 and to record the first out. So the circus down to the last two outs. Need to find some of that magic and steal it from the magicians and get it into their bats. Oh, we're going to have another at bat here oh, oh, from Albertson. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Oh, and we're getting a power card played. Oh, the power card. Five yeah, X. Five strikes. Being played by the circus uh, circus manager. The player at bat is allowed five That's strikes the right before they are out. So, not three strikes and you're out. It's five strikes and you're out for this next at bat. Saved it for right. just the right time. Yeah. You're in desperation mode. You got to create a spark and. Might as well give one of your better hitters a, 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 a better chance to put something in play. Take some hacks as well. So now Greg, shake that Laffy Taffy. We'll have a couple extra strikes to work with. Uh, check that. It is it's Albertson in the game. He, he threw out the Laffy Taffy, unfortunately. So Albertson's going to uh, hit again. He's got the five strikes, so... It was one for one on the day. You see the umpires got five home runs on the year. They could use one of those right now to tie this game. First pitch to him, ties him up in nuts. I don't know if you saw that storm, but there was a waft of smoke going on, going on behind home plate. I don't know if someone's got the wacky weed going out, the devil's lettuce, but Pop fly on the that infield again. Couldn't get to it, dribbling towards first base, and that's why they are not professional basketball players. He's safe. And not a professional track player either, as Albertson tripping over his own feet down that first base line. Eventually did make it, though. Good run here, but we'll watch the lack of form here from the umpire, Albertson. I mean, Jack his... Port, he, he nearly pulled that off. It would have been awfully impressive, but, you know, Albertson... For an umpire, you'd think he'd understand that you can run through first base. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. One would think, but who knows what's going on in the mind of Albertson. How sweet would it be if Hunter, after being plunked by two pitches in this game, ends up being the hero? It's a fly ball into left field. They were playing extremely shallow. It's over his head. Look out, Albertson rounding second. He's headed towards third. The throw in from right field is high. Albertson is safe. He's going for home. Nobody there covering a late throw home. And Albertson is safe. We've got a one-run game. And advancing to third is Hunter Sweets with just one out. I think I'm just more impressed with some of the shaving cream or the pie in the face still. Albertson out there still running hard. He's got pie remnants on his Jersey pie remnants on his neck, still able to make it first to home. I mean, Great speed from Albertson. You have never seen. It. Look, he's, yeah, he's, he's. I can't he's, shake hands. He's got. He's, he has to stay impartial. So great job there from I have never Albertson. seen I have never seen better professionality yeah. from a from an umpire in this league in all of my years in this I you know what the, Gary this is my third year in this league I've never seen anything like that and meanwhile we get another drive that'll split the gap in left center David Honk has done it He has Hi, tied game. us up 15 all in This game it can't get any more bonkers We've had streakers, 15 runs now apiece. This game is crazy. And we are tied here with one down in the bottom of the ninth inning. Extra innings looming here at Car Shield Field. And that was a drive right there. Great swing. You know, I feel like we haven't seen a streaker in a while. I wonder if he's going to make another appearance. But you think he did provide a spark for the Magicians. And if you were the... You're the manager for the Magicians, Coach Handsome. You're wondering where that streaker is. Maybe get some of that 
hot yoga loving. A any ball player would tell you nothing to spark a rally like a good dump truck. Mm -mm. Oh, sir. One out, runner at second base. Line shot towards short. It's off the end of his webbing into center field. And the throw into third base. They got him caught in a pickle, but it gets past his glove off the facing of the dugout. So that nearly would have been another run home and a potential game ender. But instead, we've got runners on the corners with one down. Yeah, a heads up play to take that third base on that left side. The winning run now, just 90 feet away. That just ate the shortstop up, couldn't get the glove out on it. And an Aaron throw, well, a good throw, just too much mustard on that bun. And got beyond the glove of the third baseman. So a fastball thrown by the center fielder. Third baseman unable to haul it in, so a fantastic chance here with California Circus to sneak in a victory, a come from behind victory. They were down eight to two at one point in this game. They were up 11 to eight, then they were trailed again, and they tied it. So back and forth we go in this seesaw battle between the magicians and the circus. And Joy Hansen is telling his team. Look, guys, I was standing on the top step, step of the dugout looking pretty, up by two, and now what have you guys done to me? Handsome is as handsome does, and right now the play of the Magicians, not so handsome. All knotted at 15 in the bottom oh, of the ninth that majestic inning. man. Oh, look at this. A whole bundle of bats for Sean Giggles. And, and it looks like Crew Chief Elbertson is allowing this. Yeah, I think it's a, a, a 10 bat maximum you can have, so he's still under the limit here. And now they're going to say the third baseman is out in another hidden ball trick. Oh but my goodness. Two down now. The magicians pull a rabbit out of their hat at the most crucial point of this game. Boy, the Magicians Alliance is really going to like that one. The game winning run cut down from third base. Now that game winner would have to come from first. A heavy batter here. In a multitude of ways. Good the eye. first pitch comes in tall. G-O-O-D-E-Y-E. -E. Good eye, good eye. No way you don't make soft contact. The pitch, and he dribbles it back to the mound. No problem for Jack Port. You gotta We've wonder got if, free baseball. Yeah, you got to wonder if the weight of the bats, you know, implement or, you know, really affected that hit. You'd have to think a little bit as we get set for the tenth inning of play. You're watching the JBA on Twitch. to Car Shield Field into extra innings of a 15-15 ball game and another power card coming out to start extras. Triple vision, there will be three 
three pitchers on the mound for the circus here in the top half of the tent. I've heard of the foreigner double vision, but the triple vision is a new one on me. So we'll see how this affects the circus as two more pitchers have been called in, or excuse me, affects the magicians. As two more pitchers will be called to the mound to make it a three spot. And it will only be for one at bat. So this leadoff batter will have to face three pitchers simultaneously. The ball. You're the ball boy. You're so, pitching. Clown boy. Oh, this is the clown going to come out is and clown pitch boy, here? Uh, He's not on the roster. Let's see if Albertson will allow this. I do believe they're short some players. Need extra baseballs here as well. The well, clown boy ran out of balls. Leave it to the clown boy. There's Clown Boy. A great job of replenishing Albertson's balls here tonight. Really been a big favorite of mine throughout my years in this league. Just a model of consistency and one of the all time good guys in this league. Yeah, yeah. Gets a lot of respect around the league. Does a good job uh, shining the bats, rubbing the balls down, getting them ready for a BP, and just doing whatever a Clown Boy can do to help the team. You know, another one of those things that, that goes unnoticed. Who would rub these balls down if it, if it weren't for him? No, nope. I mean, it had to be one of the players. Maybe they had to rub their own balls. So and Look at this. First three pitches come in, and Albertson nearly wore three of them. Ball one, ball two. So, so we got strike one as well as a couple of balls delivered there. So a two and one count here to Craig Mystery, who is two for five in this game. Uh, mystery hasn't been a mystery at the plate so far, so he put some good wood on a couple of hits and had some bad ball luck on the others. Boy, so clown, clown three boy's balls. effort just unmatched. Here they come. Uh oh, he made contact with one of them. One of them's in play. Look out here. And with the power card, he still reaches first. Aaron throw. He's headed to second base. Still haven't retrieved that baseball. Mystery headed to third, and the leadoff man is just 90 feet away. Still nobody out, waiting for the throw, and well, it he gets, gets away at home. Oh, but the other two balls are still in play. Oh! oh! Clown Boy applies the tag! <laughs> Save! Oh, they were both saved! No way! Clown Boy had him! You need all three! Oh, he needed all he three needed, balls. He, only, he only had two of the three balls. Got to have three balls to complete the cycle. Oh my goodness! How could they have forgotten? And look, now this is this is unwarranted. Hunter Sweets taking his anger out on Clown Boy. Clown Boy was in the right spot at the right time. Yeah, right spot at the right time. Uh, you can't blame Clown Boy on this one. And you wonder how that, that affects this the team chemistry moving forward. I know it's not every day that Clown Boy gets into the game, but he's got to feel awfully unappreciated in a moment like this. I mean, look at the way Hunter Sweets ran into his own pitcher, and then he's going to try to clown Clown Boy? Yeah, you don't Come clown on. Clown Boy. That's, There's no clown in Clown Boy. That's just terrible. So that oh. should have been the winning run, but we're continuing here. We're still we're in the top half here. Yeah, we're going to, oh, top half of the 10th inning here. My bad. It has been a long night of baseball. I will. I just keep thinking I'm hoping Dumbledore's okay. I mean, he got pinned in the locker room and just hope he's fine. Hope he's found the elder one. And that one's in for the call strike. 0-2, oh, and oh my goodness, everyone clearing, oh, clearing the dugout the for, the, magi oh, for the magicians. Oh my goodness, this is bad. And the pitcher goes down oh, in a man. heap. Fred Circus just clinging for his life. What is happening? All oh, the mascots are looking for one another. Oh, they're taking their mascot. Oh boy, this is utter just an chaos. All the mascots are stripping down to their skivvies and going at it. Every player from every from the musicians and the circus are on the field right now. How is Albertson going to handle this one? He's just tossing people left and right now. The magicians have cleared the dugout. Beer Man is on the field. Fans have stormed the playing surface. This is insane. Boy, the mascots are really going at it. A little hanky-panky being played right now. I have never seen a higher stakes game of hanky-panky in my life. No, sir. Oh, and a big field goal kick 
of the clown mascot head. Oh, and a takedown by the wizard. This is an absolute mess. Uh, the crunch time is gonna have a one hell of a time breaking down this game this evening. Crunch time, our post-game analysis they coming right game. after this. Yeah, Albertson's called it. Albertson has called game this. Up. That's it. Oh my goodness, we'll sort it all out in post-game. This this is insane. End to the this, clown show. This game has been called, it, it, what, really no surprise that yeah. this one would end this way in 10 innings. What a game. We're going to toss it to studio. Tom you Chairman and Dickie Dreck, take get it away. Suspended. You're going to get suspended. You're going to get suspended. You're going to get Welcome back to another episode of Crunch Time. I'm Tom Chairman. And I'm Dickie Dreck. And once again, it's that time. Time to take a look at some league highlights from today's games. And boy, oh boy, it was a heck of a day on the ball field. Indeed, it was a doozy of a day, Dickie. Let's dive right in. Go to the Diamond for the first game of the afternoon, where the Delaware Drunkards dallied with the Montpellier Mimes. Well, fans were treated to another classic matchup as the Mimes outfoxed the Drunkards in all aspects of the game as they usually do, hitting, pitching, fielding, and stealing. Pitcher Marvin Mute was in marvelous mid-season form, pitching a true no-hitter. And the outfield posted another error-free game. Yeah, it certainly didn't help that the Drunkards played true to form, fielding only four semi-sober players against a full complement of mines. Well, at least the Drunkards have consistency going for them with a record of one win and 39 straight losses. Their only victory resulting from a forfeit on their home opener when the circus were forced to forfeit due to their team bus breaking down on the highway. Now let's move across the country to where the powerful and primal Phoenix Cavemen hosted the lovely and long in the tooth Ohio Old Ladies. It was yet another epically long contest between these teams that we affectionately call Beauty and the Beast. The Cavemen played true to form, meaning all brawn, absolutely no brains. And the old ladies were, as always, their charming, generous selves, valuing hospitality, camaraderie, and friendship over competition, as they usually do. It's really a wonder the cavemen survive in the league after so many years of still not understanding at all how the game is played. But there's no denying that hitting is where their strength lies. Caveman left fielder Thronk and shortstop Uga currently lead the league in home runs and runs batted in. And today's game was another eight-hour ordeal with fans certainly getting their money's worth as both teams had no issues with pace of gameplay. Yep, the fans truly appreciate the joy and just all around Midwest Ohio niceness the old ladies bring to the field every night. And the Ohio old ladies are leading the league in number of walks and strikeouts due to, how do I say this nicely, being very selective at the plate, also leading the league in number of times telling you you look like skin and bones, eat something. But today, fans were treated to a rare bases loaded hit by Clara Crinolin. Her hit forced old lady catcher Ethel Laflame, who was on third base due to a walk and then a balk, to speed toward home. Unfortunately, caveman designated hitter Duty was confused by the base runner and mistakenly thought she was heading toward the dugout to steal his turkey leg. So he leapt out of the dugout to defend what he saw as his territory. Good news is the umpire awarded Ethel home plate and Clara got her first RBI of the season. What a moment. Yeah, a real team player that Ethel. What a spirit and what a turkey leg. Yeah, the cavemen beat more than just Ethel. They beat the entire team in a 26 to one clubbing. All right, before we wrap up crunch time, we have some new details we'd like to share with you uh, surrounding the all-out benches-clearing brawl during the California Circus and Maryland Magicians game today. 
What a mess, Dickie. Absolute mess. You hate to see it. The melee of merry men as it's already becoming known. Jeremy Elbertson did his best to quell the two teams, but with the history they've got against each other, this is quite a task. A bean for a bean. You said it. Both teams believing they're the better, but least appreciated entertainers. This folly turned fracas surpassed all previous skirmishes. Both benches cleared, as did the bullpen and the locker rooms. And it's kind of unfortunate to note here, we're learning now the magicians initially charged out of their dugout, not with any violent intent, but it seems desperately attempting to escape what looks like an animal of mm. some sort that, that got into their dugout. What is that? Uh, with tensions flaring that high, it's no wonder the circus went right into action. But again, just unfortunate, Dick. Think of all the kids there, too. And the animals. We'll soon see how the league's going to respond, but you have to figure at least a handful of suspensions will come out of this debacle. But that's all the time we have to crunch today. We'll be back tomorrow with more league highlights. Hey, until then, I'm Tom Chairman. And I'm Dickie Dreck, and you've been watching Crunch, crunch Time. Time.